Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back for another week of brilliant idiotness. And this week's podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or business and optimize for every device. Easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience and sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all on your terms. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's Squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Let's start the show. Hezekiah Walker. What's up, sir? How you been this weekend, brother? Man, first Father's Day. First Father's Day. Did you cry? Bruh. No, 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 not really on Father's Day, but I got sent a couple videos from Mark. Some like, you know, just random like videos that get you emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With him twerking? Yeah, it was Mark twerking. (laughs) Okay, okay. I mean, those cakes. Those cakes, Mark got cheeks. Crazy, bro. It's just crazy. What, he just sent you videos like stuff he's caught behind the scenes? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No. What? No, I'm you behind the scenes like with his child and wife, you pervs. No. What? No. What are you talking about? What were you talking about? What kind of video? They were just like emotional things that have happened. One was an audition tape for a movie. The another, the another one was an episode of The Simpsons, like a little thing. So I was watching them. I'm getting, I was in my mood. Matter of fact, I did cry on my way back home. I flew yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, I did, yes. Yeah, yeah. How about you? How was your father's day? I was flying back from L.A. So, you know, but I mean, when I got home, it was like 5 o'clock in the afternoon. What'd you do in L.A.? I was out in L.A. I did a... Uh, trapping? Book trapping, man. I did a, I did KTLA uh, on Friday. Uh, I did Bill Maher Friday, and I did um, I did the Grove. I was at Barnes and Noble at the Grove, man. Salute to everybody that came out to Barnes and Noble at the Grove, man. LA always shows me big love. Like they ran out of books. No way. Oh yeah, it was it was a sold out event at the bookstore, which is wild. I, I don't, and I've had a lot of people come to the bookstore, but they never told me it was sold out. Oh, that's far. But um. Yeah, so they ran out of books, so that was the only bad thing. But yeah, so I, I, and then we stayed in another day just to have like you know a little vacation weekend. Okay, you know just me and the wife. And then we flew back. Uh, we flew back Sunday morning. Who watches your kids when you guys go? Oh, we got we got the nanny. We got a sitter. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They, they're they're in beyond good hands. But family doesn't come up. You don't trust the family. Um, sometimes you know, sometimes it depends how long we're going though. Who in your family do you trust the most with your children? Your mom. Of course. And, and then my, anybody both, else? Both my moms. My in-law and my mom. Not really. Isn't that funny? No, nah, not really. But I mean, it's different now, though, because my oldest is 15. So, so she like, can kind of hold Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, see, I'm not going to leave them with her with the kids. Yeah. But she can monitor everything. But for with the kids now, like my nanny's been with us for a long, 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 long time. And um, our, our other sitter who we hired is very, very trustworthy. She's good. Very trustworthy. In fact, she actually moved away, but will fly in. Just to... Yeah, well, we need her. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I travel with us, too, so... What race is your nanny? Uh, tr- one is Trinidadian. You got... Dude. The other's from Ghana. You got to do yeah, it, Yeah, tr- Trinidadian and Ghana. The Caribbean women. You got to. Like, that, like, it it, is... Yo, listen. The prof- I, when you want to profile, that's when you profile. I knew I wanted that from the beginning. From the, bro, it is... It's so funny. Because they... Caribbean women have... The like sweetest, kindest, most loving side. That's right. And also that a accent. Discipline that's side. Right. That's that. You that, need that's both. Right. You need both. It can't just be all love, sweet, kind. No. There has to be also, hey, there's order that's and right. structure that's and right. this shit. That's yeah. right. You're raising kids. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Y'all got a nanny yet? Uh, we right now have a baby nurse. Okay, okay. So that was so, like a night nurse? Basically like a night nurse, but that they can be with us all the time. And so that's been really helpful. Hardest hire you will ever oh my make God. in your life. Can't, yeah. That's not something you do in a month. That's not something you do in two nah, months. Not gotta. something you do in three months. You got to vet, 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 especially nowadays. I need to know all referrals. I need to talk to all families you've worked with before. Yeah. Okay. I need and it's not something you try test. to save money on either. No, you got to no, spend no, no. 
it. That's where you spend no. the money. No. Spend it. Yep. No. And what's wild, I need to know everything about you. Yeah. Meaning, like, I need to, like, if you're married. You plan on having you kids? You got an ex, I need to know who that person yeah. is. If you got kids, I need to know how old they are. Like, I want to know everything. Because this person is yeah. in your house. What's your health history? That's right. Yeah. This person's bathing your kids. I want to know mental health. I want to know All everything. I don't give a fuck. Fucking Taylor. Well, then, what? Like, ask your little stank ass question. <laughs> ask your non parenting ass yeah, question. Ask your little stanking ass right. question. Yo, over I'm there. Mad. It's not even mad. I'm just asking. It's about to be a Do dumb, it. non parenting Do ass question. It's a stanking ass question. What stanking if, it up over there. Well, then, lying, like how people lie on like you can't jobs. Lie. It's an agency. It's a whole agency. It's a whole you agency. But think about it. You think can't about lie. How people, you, you would lie. There's background checks. You would lie. You can't. You would lie to take care of children. No, I'm just saying. If you're interviewing them, right? What There's would you background say? Background checks. I can call your last. I can call your last. I can talk to the last. The family. same thing with other jobs. Do the same thing. I can talk to the last family you work yeah, with. Yeah, but we're gonna talk to these references, and they're gonna keep it a buck. That's right. It's their kids too. That's right. Why did you leave? Why did this person leave you? Or why did y'all cut ties mm -hmm. with this person? What happened? Mm -hmm. Like they're gonna tell you the truth. So Andrew, you're gonna go Caribbean. Tibetan's another big Please. nanny mafia. I need that little white girl speaking patois, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Please, man, do it, man. Get a <laughs> get you a nice Caribbean nanny, man. Da da, da, -da. <laughs> papa. <laughs> okay. Uh, nah, yeah. I mean, like uh, right now, our baby, our baby nurse is Caribbean. All right. Yeah. From where? She is from Trinidad. Mm. Beautiful. Amazing. Can't go wrong, yo. My my my, my name from Trinidad been with us forever. Yeah, like a long time. Like, yeah. dude, I don't even think we had. Yeah, we didn't even have two of our kids before oh, we had her. I think Wait, you really? Say you didn't have a kid before you got her. I was like, whoa. We didn't have two of them. I, I think we only had two when we got her. Okay, what we got, Taylor? All memes necessary. Let's get into it. What is this? We don't want to hear you Hold say on. daddy no more. First of all, y'all not slick. I heard earlier in the podcast last week. What you need to do your job. What do you mean? Produce. Yeah. And I'm telling y'all what happened. We asked you to produce and you- I'm telling y'all what happened. What, what happened? happened? What happened? What are you talking about? You what thought y'all was slick. Doing and I didn't what? even fall for it. Doing what? Fall for what? The link that you sent You did whatever. fall for it. No, I didn't. Did fall for Taylor, I never you fell sent for it. it. You literally said- I never sent anything. The only, you told me already, the only reason you didn't send it is because it expired. You told me that. Mm -hmm. You literally said that out of your own mouth. You said that you missed the 24 hours. Originally, so when you pointed it out, no, no, no. Originally, when you put it Can out, I, give I said, context I thought to it was the people a scam. Listening? Can I give context to the people listening? They have no fucking clue what's going okay, on. Okay, go ahead. So there's this service where you can have a number <laughs> that is a new number, right? So it's different than your cell phone number. And we use that number and we sent a message. Mark Gagnon sent a message to Taylor and it was like, congratulations, you have been chosen to win tickets to, um, what's his name? Kendrick Lamar. Yes, sir. I pay it, no mind. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. You clicked you it. Because you had to look for it. Taylor, you literally told me the only reason you didn't reply I didn't say the only is because reason the 24 why I didn't hours reply. I didn't say the only reason. I didn't say the only That's reason. That's exactly what you said No, to I me. didn't. Yes, it no, is. No, I didn't. How many yes, blessings do you think you missed, Joe? Mm. Too many. Because think about that. This could have been a blessing. It was no. a prank, but it could have been a blessing, and you missed it unless I, I said something. I got my blessing. Like, no one can no, tell you me shit. No, you think you got your blessing. No one can tell me shit. You don't shit. know if that blessing came no through No one can tell me shit. How much time you got left? Two more hours, and it drops. What, what, what's that? Are you, you want me to pray to my, you know when I pray to God, things happen. You want me to say another prayer? That's crazy. You better be very but guess humble. Guess what? I want a God's favorite. I want a God's favorites. Trust me. You better me. be very Trust humble me. the next two hours. Trust me. All right, hold on. I watch this. Hold on. You sure? Are you sure? Are you positive? Are you sure? Are you positive? Are you sure? Okay. You want me and to God do God don't like liars do you either. Want he me sees, to do he sees. Do you want me to do it? Do you want me to do it? Do you want me to? If you want to bring your mama's pie, I would say, God, make yeah, it the way Taylor just, don't go I'm to the floor I'm just trying to say why you pray doggy style. <laughs> yeah. Why you turn around and pray? God's there, there, there. <laughs> why did Why'd you, you pray doggy <laughs> style? Put my back to him. Why do you go oh, to Taylor? Put my back to him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all. That was weird. <laughs> Yo. Either way, it's some type of doggy style. You do down with dog. That's true. Yeah, but yeah, still, yeah, like, throwing yeah. your back to him. But <laughs> point is, Taylor, you don't have tickets. They're not guaranteed, and you never know. <laughs> you never know until <laughs> they're there. You never know until you're out there at the Kendrick <laughs> show. I'm sorry. Did Dave Free hit y'all up or anything? No. Nah, he definitely so, going to cancel, uh, cancel him. Since you want to say his name, he's going to cancel him now. He's going to cancel him now. He likes to be low-key. You know, like, because think about how many people hitting him up for tickets. And here you go. 
Just throwing his name Yo, out there. You couldn't just you don't be even, humble. You don't even. You just. You just too excited. You couldn't just be humble. Kendrick told you sit down, be humble. Mm. Sit down. But no, like, be humble. The hate is crazy. The hate is crazy. Is crazy. Is. The hate is crazy. Nah, and we're, nah. not, we're not gonna believe his name. We're gonna nah, put it, and we're gonna put, Let's put the pot out tomorrow. I think we should. What's the day? We, we recording on it. What's the day? Monday. We're going to put it out tomorrow. Just to... Just, just so to. everybody can hit him up and be like, damn, you sending Taylor tickets. I hit you and up. I didn't get and any. you didn't hit me back. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yep. That's right. Wow. 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 Okay. You're crazy. You're crazy um, for that one. What if we don't want to hear anyway, you? You're not going to make me feel bad. Give us like, some memes. Playing. Give us some memes. What if we don't uh, want to hear you say daddy no more? What the fuck is that? Um, you don't Caitlyn even Jenner. know you're spiraling. No, Caitlyn Jenner. Oh, that's oh, great. That's a great take. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner was trying to celebrate Father's Day. Yeah, I gotta stop oh, talking. Dear. Let me go. I gotta uh, stop talking. I was I was no. I, you know what? You know why I gotta stop talking? Why? Because we just be I, we be we we're serious, but we're not serious serious. No, I'm but serious. It's like I am serious <laughs> about this, but the headline makes it look crazy. Somebody left a comment and said Charlemagne is so unhinged. <laughs> All because I said Caitlyn Jenner needs to pick a side. She do. She, she do. It do sound weird, Caitlyn. We try to respect you. Are you a the, woman or not? That's bro. it. We trying to respect you, say the proper pronouns. Nah, I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? And then here you go talking about <laughs> you nah. happy Father's Day. You a dude now? What did she say? You celebrate Father's Day, you're a dude. So Caitlyn Jenner posted, all right, this, this is from the Neighborhood Talk. God damn, you don't have to zoom in on that, please. This is please. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> she, she zoomed in on Caitlyn's face. We don't need to see all that. Caitlyn Jenner shared some throwbacks in celebration of Father's Day. The best thing I ever did was be a father. Love all the Father's Day posts from the followers. The best thing I oh. ever did was be a father. My Unless you're members. celebrating her being a father earlier in her life when she was a he. Uh, and in that case, yeah, it makes sense. Because you're not celebrating her being a mother. Yeah, they still call her dad. But what is he, what does she do on Mother's Day? She doesn't go by mom, though. <laughs> How she, do you? I don't know what she goes like, no, by. No, they call her dad still. Oh, still no, you can't hokey pokey with identity, yeah. yo. You yeah, can't yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. one foot in, one foot out. Uh, One dick in, <laughs> shake it all around. You can't be like that, yo. It's got to be either or, okay? Yeah. You can't be woman of the year and celebrating father. That's a great point. Come on, man. Yeah. Because they get mad when you miss, you get mad when you miss gender. Yeah. Right? And then the other thing is what, uh, the dead naming. Yeah. They don't want so you to So you got to give it up. That's a great point. Like, there's sacrifices Lord. that come with this. You don't get to do everything. Mm. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, there's sacrifices that come with this. That's all I'm saying. And you got to make that sacrifice. No more Father's Day for you. No more Father's Day. <laughs> and it's not, it's just not a hard sacrifice. It's also. Just, it's just Father's Day. Also, uh, this should annoy me. The, uh, there's no, don't do the whole thing where it's like, we need to celebrate single mothers on Father's Day. Like, No. <laughs> so shut up <laughs> Y'all get Mother's Day And that's so the fuck silly. it silly yeah, But why? Single mothers are mothers They're mothers You're not fathers What does that even mean? Yeah You gotta be both parents <laughs> No you don't And it's impossible to be It really you are is a, You are a mother If you're a single father You're a father Holding down the role of a father you're not a father and a without mother Without a mother And if you're a mother A single mother You're holding down the role of a mother Without a father That's it Like there's no such thing As, bo as, as one person can do both It's beautiful Absolutely You got Take away from the other person. Absolutely. Thing. Like, imagine dudes. You don't think they're they're going off of like what a man's supposed to be like a, a provider and protector. There is not, and, a woman can never do what a man does, and a man can never do what a woman yeah, does. Yeah, I know. You got to cut it out. Yeah, because if the it's daughter if the, if the daughter makes it to the poll, the mom don't want the credit for that. That's the father. Exactly. The poll. She's like, a stripper. Yo. You know what I wanted to say, man? Salute to everybody who fucking came to the book signing at Barnes and Noble. You know what made me emotional, yo? And I told Duval all this shit. Web. Man, there was so many people. I mean, the shit was like flooded with people, right? And I, I, I think it started at seven. I was there to like, I was there at seven. I think we talked for like an hour, and I was there for like another two and a half hours, just signing books, shaking hands, kicking it with people, right? Mm. And everybody that was there stayed to like, you know, get a picture, you know. Totally. Yo, do you know how many people in there had on rich broke hoodies? Had on custom little Duval hoodies? Let's go. Had on Andrew Schultz. Heavy merchandise, oh, Andrew let's Schultz, go. the Life Tour merchandise. Respect. Yo, that shit had me motherfucking emotional. Yo, I was like, yo, we really came a long way. Yes, we did. And have curated a community yes, where it's did. like all of our people inter interact with each other in some way, shape, or form. That shit had me like, 
Oh, shit. Yeah, that's fire. I mean, that shit was crazy, yo. I mean, like, unbelievably crazy. Like, to the point where I was like, damn, yo. Like, I, I really had to, like, take a step back and, like, who are we? You know what I'm saying? Kind of crazy. I mean, she was like, yeah, I just, it, was a, it was mad people. Like, I just saw Andrew at the forum, you know, a yeah. couple weeks ago. Now I'm meeting you. And I'm like, yo, this happens to me all the time. Yeah. The same thing happened when I was in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. And my same exact thing. I'm like, yo, we have come a long nah, we fucking doing way. Right. We oh, doing my right. God. Yeah. Malone Brown loves you, bro. I bet, yeah, Malone Brown, dick in your mouth is really nice. He just got really thought, he really thought that he could come, he could come prepared. He really thought he could come prepared to the crowd. He, and he delivered it pretty good. I, know, the delivery like, was I almost gave it to him because the, the delivery was so good and it was positive. And it was everything. But you're not going to get the GOAT, bro. He practiced. You're not Yo, gonna get gave me that one. A stud at the book sign again. <laughs> She said, yo, she said, yo, I, it's, it's one of Flame's homies. I can't remember her, her name right now, his name. I, don't, I can't remember. He was like, yo, I'm tired of it, yo. <laughs> like, yo, you got to get it right. You do it wrong every, every time. Then I'm going to give you two, yeah. all right? Malone Brown. Yeah. I'm like, Malone Brown. I forgot what the other one was. I just remember Malone Brown dick in your mouth. Yeah, that was good. No, it wasn't. No, that was good. But listen, you're getting better at delivery because your delivery is fucking trash before. But <laughs> yeah, 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 you yeah, right? yeah. And it was like off the flow. I yeah, should have given it to him. I really should have given oh, it to him. What is Let Your Cheeks Hang Out, Taylor? Yeah, what is that? Oh, uh, Boosie talking about his mom. Boosie tells his mama. What happened now? Some cheeks out. He's talking about you. gotta let your cheeks hang out, out man. You gotta put on a two piece, man. You gotta put on a two piece and let the cheeks hang. Ooh, look at them cheeks. Look at them cheeks, man. They got some old meat on my lab. They got some old meat on my lab. They got some old meat on my lab. I'm gonna be in one minute. You saw that man. You saw that old man waving at you at that restaurant. Man, you saw that old man waving at you at that restaurant in front of the two house. Mama then pull out the two piece. Miss Cannon then pull out. Okay. Let them cheeks hang out, man. Let them cheeks hang out. I won't see them hang out today. You gotta take them shorts off. You gotta let them cheeks hang out. <laughs> when I see videos like this, I just realize me and my mom don't got the kind of relationship that, I, that they got with their mom. It's just that simple. Like I just, you know, it's like I respect it. You know, I get what he's doing. It ain't. It's funny. I mean, it's funny. Yeah, yeah they you on vacation. Talk your mom up. Yeah, they on you vacation. Talk your That's mom right. Up. You put, let them cheeks hang out, ma. Yeah. <laughs> if I can tell Mark, I want to see him twerk. Yeah, you can. You know Especially I mean? you out there at Wendy's. Wendy's. Wendy's did nuts in your fucking mouth. <laughs> That's for all the studs yeah. out there. Y'all thought you was gonna help him. You thought you was gonna help him. It's not happening. It's not happening. You're going up against the king. Oh my god, man. Come on now. You know, that's good. That is good. All right, guys, listen. Today I want to talk to you about something that's gonna take your gain to the next level. Transparent labs whey protein. This right here. This ain't your average protein shake, folks. We're talking about 28 grams of protein per serving with an industry-leading protein by weight percentage. That's some serious muscle fuel right there for you. After every paddle session, Padel for you Europeans, I use their protein with some, listen, I, I go with the oat milk, okay? Maybe I throw a little nanner in there. Little bananas. <laughs> I throw a little bananas in there. Maybe some strawberries if I'm feeling sweet. 
What is right? And get this, this stuff is sourced exclusively from grass-fed American dairy cattle. No growth hormone, no steroids, just pure high-quality protein for your body to thrive on transparent labs. Whey protein is made with natural ingredients only. None of that artificial junk you find on the products, no sweeteners, no fillers, no dyes, no gluten, no preservatives, just clean, honest gains. And here's the kicker. Every batch is backed by third-party lab testing. That means you can trust what's on the label is exactly what's inside the jug. It's all about transparency, baby. So if you're serious about your fitness goals, if you want to push yourself to new limits, then do yourself a favor and try Transparent Labs Whey Protein. Your body will thank you. Head over to transparentlabs.com slash idiots or use the discount code idiots for 10% off. Get your body right, my friends. Now let's get back to the show. Who needs to feed their son? Why does it say feed your son up there? Yo, you know why it says what is feed it? your why son? Why does it say feed your son, Taylor gang? Because What happened? Why did YSL Woody tell the DA to get back because he smelled something? <laughs> she got back to like she know her son need to be fed. For Echo Hotel. Oh, she no. walked she walked away like she know her Stop son it. hungry. Stop look how embarrassed it. she looks. She's like, oh my God. Stop it. Oh my God, my son is hungry. Oh my God. No. For Echo Hotel. Wow. No. Wow. Her son probably is hungry, man. This case taking too fucking long. She ain't showered in months. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is she ain't showered since this case fucking started. Yeah, this is... <laughs> okay? This is Kenya? Kenya? Kenya. Come on! Kenya! Come on! Kenya! Come on. Kenya. Open Come that on. house and have these balls in it! <laughs> Come on, Sean! Come on, Sean! Come on, Sean. <laughs> the shame! <laughs> the shame, the indignity! The shame, the indignity! Come on, Sean! Sean, that's back to back! No. <laughs> I just said back to back! What you thinking about that copper coin purse over there? Oh, man. <laughs> Come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. Chris sitting there like he got a torn leg. Look at him. Give me another meme. Look at this guy. What a torn leg, but just sitting there, bro. Torn leg. Lick my dick, motherfucker. That's no. There's no way. There's no way. It's just I went for the three piece. There's no way. I just went for the motherfucking. Oh, Charlotte, man. we gotta stop. We gotta stop the podcast right now. We well, gotta put a pause on it. All this talk of dick in your mouth is a good segue into this one. What is it? <laughs> Diddy followed Kai Sinat on Instagram. <laughs> Kai Sinat reacts to Diddy following him on Instagram. This N word oh, trying what? to recruit. Oh, hell no. Oh, that's crazy. So, <laughs> don't follow that. <laughs> Wait, this nigga trying to recruit? Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he standing on this chair like that? Oh, hell no! This music. Yeah, he's the best. Yo, I'm 10 toes, I never fall, nigga. <laughs> wow. What? I've been to a ditty party. <laughs> nigga, don't follow that. <laughs> Wait, this nigga trying to recruit? Oh, hell no! Nah. <laughs> I thought about this, right? Is Diddy arrogant enough? Egotistical enough to try to get on a Kai Sinat screen. Yeah. Yes. Do you think him and his team are sitting around yep. trying to figure out ways yep. how to have a conversation with people, how to get back in the mix? Do you think he's arrogant, egotistical, and ignorant enough yeah. to try to pop up on a Kai Sinat screen? And it would break the internet. Oh, it'd be the biggest thing out. But first of all, I would I, I would highly advise Kai not to do anything like that. That's number yeah. one. But number two, do you really think did he want to be all up in the videos that bad? Yes. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, can, I can't. It's hard for me to believe. I think he's just following Kai because he thinks Kai is cute, but also because he's like, <laughs> he wants to see what's going on in the world. You know what I mean? <laughs> he just wants to see what's going on. Like, I don't. You think he really would try to go on Kai to not scream, yo? Yeah, I think he's that crazy. Uh, I think he's that. Yeah, yeah. I think he's that. Uh, Really? Sociopathic. You saw really? how delusional he was with that apology. Like yeah. he really thought that was Enough. doing something. That was yeah. press, though. I feel like it was. Just... Yeah. <laughs> what you mean that was press? I, I feel like he felt like he just had to say something. I don't wanna, oh my I god! Wanna... You had him. Press this. 
<laughs> you had him and you didn't even I take it. Not about to do no, that. He's spinning yeah. right now. <laughs> Charles ain't like, spinning right now. He don't even want to say nothing. We gotta stop. We gotta, we gotta we gotta take thirty minutes off. We gotta take thirty minutes off, bro. Hilarious, man. We really yeah, do. I don't think Diddy. I don't think Diddy is that arrogant, bro. I think he's just trying to pay attention to see what's going on. But Kai's reaction is hilarious. Mm -hmm. But you'll you'll be fine, Kai. That tiger <laughs> that tiger don't got no teeth no more, man. Yeah, you're gonna be okay. Yeah, yeah. That tiger ain't got no teeth. A year ago, but you get I, that follow. What? Next thing you know, you probably get an invite somewhere. You might gotta be careful. And then what would he do to you guys? I have no idea. You never hung out with Diddy? I never hung out with Diddy ever. Good I know everybody you. likes to say that now. Oh, they do? <laughs> yes. I've never been to a Diddy party ever. Oh, that's in far. In my life. That's never. Far. Never what, ever. What is the next party you think is going to get uh, exposed? I would hope nobody. I would hope at some point motherfuckers learn. <laughs> that's a good I would point. hope at some point motherfuckers realize, like, this shit is a wrap. Like, cut it out. Yeah. Like, knock it off. Yeah. The, the, the predatory behavior at some point has to stop, don't it? Uh, yeah, 100%. From Hollywood to the music industry, like, it's got to stop at some point. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I wonder if it's finally starting to. People are starting to see the repercussions, whereas before, nobody saw them. You think so? Like, what were the repercussions before? Like, this is the first generation where these people are being held accountable. You think so? Has it happened in the past? I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just not that familiar with history, but... I feel like people have lost, lost a lot before. Within our... Like probably it, not our generation, but there's been there's been people that have had to like disconnect from their business and get the fuck on. Yeah, but not like publicly humiliated, humiliated, yeah, yeah, and yeah, like yeah, publicly yeah, held yeah. accountable. Yeah, which is in the earliest days of Hollywood. It did. Uh, look up the Fatty Arbuckle case. What we, what were y'all doing? I wasn't doing anything, but he was one of the biggest. What were y'all up to? What? Yeah, what were y'all up to? I don't know, but he was one of the biggest. He was one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, and I think there was a murder involving a showgirl that he was. He murdered a girl. I think that's the case. Um, Chris, what? you read a lot. Yeah, he was. He this was guy out, died in the 1800s. He was run out of Hollywood. He was like the first person to be run out of Hollywood. I think, I think Fatty Arbuckle. Yeah. And what was he doing? He was an actor? Yeah, he says American film actor and director. He died, oh, he was born in the 1800s. When did he die? I mean, that guy's... He died in 1933. Sheesh. Yeah. He died on my birthday. Oh, wow. You were born in 1933? Are you man, fucking... Shut the fucking oh Lord, man. God, God damn. Yeah. When I hear the... Son. When I hear the year, I, it's God. crazy. God. Kendrick, you sure? Is this the motherfucker you wanted to show, Kendrick? <laughs> no, but you, no, for real, but when you see the... Dave Free, this is who you invite. Yo, even Chris. Dave Free, this is who you invite. I ain't never seen Chris in this. Stop. I ain't even ever seen Chris. Dave Free, this is who you invite to the show, yo. When Dave, you see, this Dave, crazy. Excuse there's me. still time, Dave. I got hit back to back. I got hit back to back with dick jokes. That was dumb. That was dumb. Why are you that, like, I'm, tell no, that was the dumbest. I'm just yeah. saying, um, when I never I've looked never at, said anything. I've tell never him. looked at tell the him. actual tell year. Him. As your uncle, I have never said anything. That you was said one was of the craziest things life. I've ever heard. <laughs> Why is that so 1933. Stupid? We in 2024. That's, it's just so wild to think. You think he's 91? So, I gotta look it up. 1933 sounds mad old. 91 years old. 1933 sounds mad old. She's still trying to make a case for it. It's crazy. Look at him. I would be 91, yo. 91. 91 if I was born in 1932. I wish you had a camera. And she said it with right mad now. confidence. So, you was born in 1933? So, look at him. Does he look like Craven Moore? <laughs> I don't know what that is. What did he just say? <laughs> I'm confused. I thought you said I, that was the year I was born. No, no he didn't. They had the same he's... birthday. Oh. They look do. at them. So I didn't even look at the date, my man. Taylor, go back to the memes. This is why. This is Leonard <laughs> McKelvey, not <laughs> Craven it's Moore. It's unbelievable. <laughs> My birthday is June. He's still old. 1978. <laughs> I almost got you. I didn't jump on it. I, I, I didn't thank jump you. on it. I <laughs> almost got you. I almost got you. You said, I don't know who that is. Yeah, I know. And I was like, say it out. Say it three. Say who? You like that one, huh? Craven Moore? Craven Moore? I know. Is that the guy in The Shining? Now he got it. Now he got it. Taylor, Taylor still got no clue. <laughs> what? Craven Moore. I don't care. So <laughs> you don't know who no, that is. I don't, care, I don't care who it is. Craven Moore. I don't care who it is. 
I really don't. I I believe you. Okay. So but you also don't know who it is. <laughs> You'll never know. Taylor Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mark J. Lil Uzi looks amazing in his Mark Jacobs ad. He looked a little Uzi vert. Arms looking toned. Kill it, okay. Uzi. Skin looking moisturized. Kill it, right. Uzi. Calves looking decent. You know what I mean? You ain't missing no leg days. Yeah, nah. Big Uzi vert. Y'all. Big Uzi vert from Mark Jacobs. Y'all. What's the problem here? People hating on Uzi for this, Taylor? Huh? Um, no, they, I think dress? they just want him to come out already. Come out what? Why you gotta come out? Come out Maybe from he's what? Maybe just androgynous. I just want to know the relationship of him and JT though. Lil Uzi not doing nothing that Prince wasn't doing. He's not doing nothing that Prince Rick was James interesting was doing. to me too though when I was younger. So I don't. <laughs> Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Why you mad? He James, was. <laughs> Rick James, Prince, all those guys from the eighties, seventies. They were all like that. They were all androgynous. They were wearing lip gloss. They were wearing things that people thought was suspect. Like they were, and they were fucking everything. They were. Yeah. So why is it such a problem? Who says it's a problem? What you don't understand is why he's in a heterosexual relationship if he's presenting as homosexual. He's not presenting as homosexual. I don't think he's presenting as homosexual though. But he's wearing women's clothes. Dennis Rodman was out here with a wedding dress on on the front of magazine covers and was fucking everything. I just want to know, like, I don't understand. I just don't understand. What don't you understand? Let's go. There's a lot Taylor doesn't understand. Shut up. Maybe I'm just living. Come to that conclusion. Time is she very difficult. Time. You thought Charlamagne the God was ninety-one <laughs> years old. Ninety-one years old. No. Genuinely, you thought that. Well, my excuse is I'm not. I'm not good at math. And also, you don't have to be good at yes, math. I do. Taylor. No, you don't. I don't think you'd have to be. You do not have good. to be good at math. You just to have know to know that I wasn't born in 1933. Yeah. She's still not convinced. I know I'm not she, convinced. I know. <laughs> She's still <laughs> like so crazy. You fuck with me like that. <laughs> All right, Taylor. Can we do a math test with you for no. four <laughs> tickets to no. Kendrick Lamar? I already got them. No, you don't. No, you yes, don't. Yes, I do. No, Dave Freeze is canceling their shits. Okay. Why are y'all hating no, so much? Y'all are hating you a lot. That you, you said that you're, you're, they'll be yours in two hours. You have no concept of time. You really so how don't. do you know when you're actually going to get these tickets? It literally mm. says it right here. <laughs> okay. So do let's just do a little, no, let's just do a little math test. No, I refuse. Test. No. You don't want to at all? No. One plus one. I'm not doing anything. Because you don't know. And that's why you're afraid. You <sighs> okay. just don't know. Anyway. You're just afraid. One plus one. I'm not doing it. Two plus two. You're not going to pressure me into doing four it. Four plus four. <laughs> everybody, I said, it's, everybody knows. Taylor don't know math. Doja Cat was insane for this. God, what? Man. What? What? In the world? That's her cheeks? Yeah. No. That's got to be some sort of bodysuit or something, right? No. That's, uh -oh. She got an ass, though. I mean... That's crazy. So the big Doja, man. Yeah, shout out Doja Cat. So talented. <laughs> <laughs> she is talented. <laughs> Doja Cat is very talented, right. man. Very talented. Probably one of the dopest female rappers yeah. out. I just think she's dope. I can't, I'm not even gonna say female rapper. I just think Doja's a dope artist. She's crazy. She's talented. a phenomenal artist. Yeah. She makes great music, great records. I wouldn't yeah. mind seeing a Doja Cat show. Is this, is this, yeah. is this at Comic Con? Or no, she on tour, ain't she? Oh, this is her tour. Okay. Yeah, she on tour. She's a good show, though. Shout out to Big Doja, man. Yeah. The tweet says Doja Cat was insane for this. I mean, it is. Yeah, uh, yeah she really. She got it going. It's bro. only one doing it, though. That's what's <laughs> ill about it. Like, if you watch when she does it, it's only one moving. It's what, like, one, one cheek, right? It's like one cheek going Yo, crazy. I. Yeah, one is going crazier than the other. And the other one is just waiting his turn. Like, the other one, the other <laughs> one catches up later. Like, yeah, one starts. It's and a then little look, delayed. Yeah, this one starts going crazy. Then the other one is like, all right, I guess I'll join the party. Yeah, she is a lefty. Shout out to Doja, man. <laughs> she is a lefty. <laughs> big Doja. Yeah, Doja got it, man. Big Doja, yeah. man. Respect the big Doja, man. You think she becomes a uh, actress? It's interesting, right? I, I don't know if a lot of these new artists have the patience to sit on sets. It I'm is thinking a about that a lot. Mind numbing situation. Because <laughs> because think about somebody like like Cardi B should have been doing movies and TV shows and and want and has had has had opportunities like like she actually pulled out of a movie that she was supposed to be starring in just because she didn't that want she didn't have the time. I also <laughs> think that you make so much less money in film than you do doing music like they are doing. 
And all of these it's people are even, like so like, extremely famous already. Like, so I would love to fame. see SZA in movies. Yeah, I would love to see Cardi in movies. I'd love to see Doja Cat in movies. Like, just because of the way they, uh, you know, how creative we see them already being. Yeah. But it's just, I feel like they don't have the time to sit on a set for, you know, it's however long it'll take. You know, what's interesting is like, uh, and this is, uh, I, I will tie it in, but uh, you see all this stuff, like people taking shots at Megan Thee Stallion. That's not a pun, but like she gets a lot of like, you know, criticism from people, et cetera. Her tour is like, she's like a legit arena act. You saw it? No. Oh. But like, I've seen clips from it. Yeah, I was. I'm not going front. I was shocked. I, I asked. Well, I didn't ask a question. I said I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't think. She I was didn't in know arena. she was that. I big. didn't think she was an arena act either. But I, you know, you're eye rolling. Why is that? Clearly, she is. Because I told you a long time ago. No, you didn't. Ago. You are you she, serious? This, th there's no more. We should start calling her Taylor after the fact. Charla. <laughs> she don't stand on nothing Charla. until really after. Don't. The are you fact. serious right now? Are you dead ass serious? Yes. And every, you don't remember yes. in the old building? You're like, I don't really think Megan's a star like that. And I almost cussed you out. She might. She must she be, be, bro. Yes, you did. No, not. I said. I said she wasn't an arena act in the new building. That's what I said. It's on, no, it's on in the video. old building when she was a like coming more on the radar. You're like, I don't really think she has like star quality. I never said that. Yes, that a never. Liar. That never happened. And she could have just stuck to her point. Of saying yeah. Charlamagne never said she was an arena act, but the reason she had to change her story because she's more. Taylor after the fact. Yeah, after the fact. Taylor, <laughs> like, that's why she had to Taylor change after the, story. the fact. After the he fact. He's watching fact. you, and he know you be lying. That's but, not a lie. Yeah, yes, you are. Well, the point is but she's an arena act. You yes. never, but you never believed in her though. But what now, are you talking about? It don't matter if he believes it or not because it's true. <laughs> what have I not believed? It? First of all, I've no never, doubt. I've never had an opinion no of Megan Thee Stallion. No yeah, never. My only opinion of Megan Thee Stallion was. I didn't know. If, I didn't think she was an arena. It's no, and that was my ignorance. How many? How many female rappers have been arena acts? That's what they don't understand. It's they like, don't it's understand. Such a you rare. You know thing. what it takes like, to sell out an arena, bro? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> big headsy. You goddamn right. That's fine. But the reality is, <laughs> she's headlining Sawcon. Like. The, the, yes. the size of an act that you need to be to do that is like... Well, back in the day, you used to have to have, like, number one singles. Yeah. You used to have to have number one albums. Like, you had to have a, a lot of radio play. Yeah. Like, she's had decent amounts of those. I think she got her first number one record this year. So that's the thing. She must have, like, a crazy interconnectivity with the fans. And but they that's get what it. it is. I it's, mean, can, that's name, what it is. name other female artists that have headlined Sock on in history. Just in history. That's crazy, because that's huge. They, they, I don't think you're not gonna get me. A <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm googling this thing. Like <laughs> you're not gonna get me again. You know why? I, 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 I try. I try a little bit. I try. I'm like, no, nah, no. Nah. I know a lot of cons. <laughs> no, nah. no. Nope. I literally have this shit. No, no. I know a lot of cons. I'm like, that wasn't one of them. I'm like, no, nah, that ain't gonna work. Okay. <laughs> Taylor, the head is going 1935. <laughs> 1936, 1937, 1936, 1916. Okay, um, but there's only really a couple female rappers that can do arenas. But I don't even know now, bro. I, it's Nikki. It's Nikki. Megan. Megan. Cardi. I would have. If Megan can, I would assume Cardi could. I would assume. But a lot of us. Megan's a better performer than Cardi, though. A lot of us make these assumptions, and I, don't know. I, I think Doja probably. Doja, I think, is big. But is I don't Doja get... doing arenas now? She's on a tour, but is she doing arenas? Look, pull up to Doja's tour schedule, Taylor. Is Doja doing arenas? She's on tour right now. I don't know. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's Salute like... to Megan. You know, you, 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 you yes, you Shout are an out. arena act. Yeah, uh, that shit know? is very impressive, man. I just, I just, I didn't know. Very, very it, impressive. It is. Like, yeah. that is a big, big deal to be able to sell out arenas. I did not know, but. Yeah, Doja Cat's doing arenas. O2. Doja's doing arenas too? O2, yeah. Wow. A yeah. core arena. Yeah. It's, it's, it's social media, yo. It's the internet. I also think it's people that, like, talk directly to their fans. Like, Megan is always on live. She's like building like this. Well, she, she she hasn't been in recent times, but yeah, I get what you're saying. But like throughout her career, there's yeah, been like yeah, this yeah, like yeah. personal mm -hmm. connection with the audience. Doja has always been like that. Yes, like, Doja definitely. And then those are the people that go, wow, I feel really connected. I got to go 
Now, they might not have a podcast like we have a pod, but like you start to really build that deep connection with your crowd. has no Nikki, Cardi, they all. Sorry? She's in the, what's the cartoon thing that everyone likes? What's that cartoon? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my God. A lot of, it's like... Not action figures or whatever. I don't know. There's like a Japanese cartoon. Anime? Anime? Anime, thank you. Yeah. Um, she's into that community. And that's... So she's tied... Ta- Megan she's ta- Stein's in anime? Yes, absolutely. Her yes. last video, her last music video was all about anime. Well... Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, salute to her for being in the arena act. You know, it's a big deal to be able to sell those kind of tickets. Anytime you can sell tickets, bro. It's hard. Those you can't, it's hard to sell tickets, bro. It's a different game it's out real, there, and, man. And it's the internet nowadays. Like, you don't really have... You don't have to have a number one record. And by the way, there's a lot of people who got number one records who cancel out arenas. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. It Before our idea of celebrity could be manipulated, you could think somebody was That's bigger right. than they are. That's right. You could think that people cared more about them than they do. And now you can't really hide. Like, we know the people who don't get the radio play, don't get all the pushing from the... Uh, what's it called? The uh, uh, record labels. Don't get all these things, but they still sell out. And it's like, oh, those people have actual fans. And then they're the people that get the radio play and they get the big push from the labels, but they can't sell tickets. It's like, those people aren't really popping that much. It's so over. Yeah, it is. It's so over. Yeah. Um, Positively Brilliant, Will Smith, Martin Lawrence, Bad Boys, Ride or Die. Mm. The franchise has made a billion dollars. I haven't seen it yet. Anybody seen it? I Alex see Media. Was it good? Yeah, it was It was good. A lot better than three. It was really good. I like three. Why everybody keep saying that? A lot better than three. Like three was whack. Three was dope. Like if you had to rank them, I would put three. Everybody's black. saying it's the second best bad boy movie ever. Yeah, I can... That's really? A, you can good make that argument. Enough. Yeah, it's That's really fire. good. Salute to Will and Martin, man. Yeah, OG in the y'all. game. Everybody acting like Will rebounded from the slap. Bro, re- when was Will down? I mean, he was he was down. <laughs> he really wasn't. No, he was it down. It was the social media shit. It was the media. Like, n- nobody ever turned their back on Will Smith. It wasn't, it wasn't that he was down, but I just think that, like, he's a superhero to us. Mm-hmm. Like, we grew up watching him in Fresh Prince. We saw him in all these superhero movies. Like, he exemplifies what a superhero is. And then he was in this relationship where he was, like, seemingly being, like, emotionally abused. And... We say seemingly, Again, right? we don't know. That's right. I, that's what I'm saying. That's it's, our narrative. It's, it's exactly. It's yeah, all yeah, perception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, even finding out about it, it's an open relationship, and she's banging, like, their kids' friends, and you're, like, allegedly... Well, not even allegedly. She was. And just, like... Well, well, superheroes don't, wives don't fuck their kids' friends. Like, it just starts to make him look human. That's not human. Nah, that that's, that's all that's, it did. That's Listen, weird. You know the best thing? You know the Name best, other humans where that shit happens. You know the best? Did a lot. <laughs> Stop you, you know it, the sorry. best thing that happened to Will Smith over Stop the last it. few years? He's been humanized. And I, that's what he wanted. Go back and listen to the Rap Radar interview that he did with B-Dot and Will Smith when they flew over to Tibet or wherever the fuck it was Mm. to sit down and have a conversation with Will Smith. And he's talking about how, you know, he he had to keep up a perfect image his whole career. He couldn't even curse. He couldn't even be himself. Yada, yada, yada. Mm. Then when you read his book, Will, you see a guy who's been wanting to take the mask off forever. So, yeah, it's like he's he's liberated. Like, before he was a mind goblin, and now he's he's liberated. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you're getting good. (laughs) He's getting good. I can't catch him anymore. The guy's getting good. It's the look you do. (laughs) If I look at you when you do it, you can't get me. If I'm just listening, I'm like, what was that? If I look at you, it's like like a mind goblin. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a mind goblin. Like, <laughs> but that's all it is, man. I'm, it, it's good to see Will like this. Mm. I want to see what Chris does. Nobody's thinking about poor Chris. Yeah. You know, I mean, no. but you know what though? I'm lying. We but already saw Chris. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Chris. Came out special. Yeah, the Chris whole world special. watched his special. Yeah. yeah, Chris won. Chris, it's over. Yeah, they both. We knew this already though. Neither one of them was gonna have anything happen to their careers in a negative way. I mean, that's a cool interview. Get the both of them back together. Mm. I don't think that's ever going gonna to happen. happen. I know. That would be fire, though. I don't know. If Chris, I don't know if Chris does it. It's really by Chris doing that, he can give Will so much back. I, I don't think Will lost anything. 
Mm, this I, guy, the movie, he's got a freaking number one movie two weeks in a row at the box office. No, I'm not saying. Yeah. And nobody ever cared. No, I'm not saying that he did. Uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not saying that he can't be an actor, but I definitely think that he lost some credibility in the public eye. I don't think he lost credibility. I just think that we whites. we just realized. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Taylor? <laughs> the, the blacks are more okay with violence? Is that what you're trying to say? By the way, Stephen A. Smith disagrees with Taylor. Stephen A. Smith said that, you know, he lost credibility with mad black people. Yeah. Okay? Um, I don't think. I don't think Will lost any credibility. I think the only because because Will don't owe anybody anything. The only person Will owes something to is Chris. Yeah, and it's not even an owe. Yeah, it's just like yo, I did you dirty. Yeah, yeah. So I gotta apologize to you. Hopefully one day you find it in your heart to forgive me. Yeah. If not, everybody got to deal with the energy they put out into the world. Yeah. That would be a good interview, you know. But oh, my God. I, Just I, the two of them talking it out. Like, what's going on? What did you feel? What did it do to you? Like, I, I need you to understand what you did to me. Do you realize Will Smith uh, went on a whole press run for Bad Boys 4 and nobody asked him about it? I'm sure that was I'm part of it. Oh, I'm sure the, oh, I'm sure the publicist. <laughs> yeah. some, some people exactly. pay attention when the publicist <laughs> yeah. asks them. Well, that's, that's yeah. Nate no, no wonder why they stayed away from certain platforms. So they, <laughs> he didn't come to Brothers. That's my guy, though. But here's the thing. He came already, though, so it don't matter. No, he did. He came for Bad Boys 3. Um, but I'm just saying in general. He but came. here's the thing. With the Tyler situation. Oh, yeah, we got to talk about that. First of all, can you give context? Absolutely. To 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 all of this, like, absolutely. First of all, anybody out there saying um, I blindsided Tyler, they suck dick, okay? And they're <laughs> suckers who shouldn't be trusted. Ooh. All right, that's number one. I love it. Um, because I did not blindside her. I do what I always do when people. Well, first of all, let's play the clip. Let's play the play the clip, Taylor Gay. This is Tyler on Breakfast Club. What does that Tyler. Even mean? Hold on. Yeah. How do I restart it over? Can we not? Por favor. Oh. Por, por, por favor. Identity as a South African colored person. What does is, what is that even mean? Can we, yeah. Can we not? Oh, I like that. We keeping that in the interview, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. yeah. I like when they talk from the back and say we can't. I like that. I like the character. That's good. That's even better. <laughs> you know why I said that? That's even better. Because no, they said, your identity. They said I'm going to start cursing in a minute. And I said, yeah, go ahead. That's even better. <laughs> what, she was threatening? Oh, well, I didn't <laughs> That's know that. what she said. Um, okay, so give us context yeah. to the whole thing. Why this is a big deal. Why is her identity or her well, race I, important? It, well, what I was told is that, uh, you know, she has made comments before about, you know, being colored, which we know in South Africa why they say that. Uh, explain to all of us that might not know. Someone. Pull up her, her statement. Taylor, what are you, why, what are you chiming in about Taylor? You don't know what's going on here. I know, I read into it. It wasn't, it was more so um, the commoners, like South Africans, and like in the comments when she was on some interview saying like, oh yeah, I'm a colored queen. She said something like, I'm a colored queen. That's what happened. With Didn't I just say that? But you're making it seem like it's a, it's, a, it's okay. Just, <laughs> it's a, just, just get it out. We need all perspectives. We need all perspectives. We need all perspectives. Because it's just people in the comments that made it bigger. But we know That's why she calls okay. herself color. Now let's read her statement. Okay. Make it make it bigger, Taylor. She says, "Yeah, guys, never denied my blackness. I don't know where that came from. I'm mixed with black." Zulu, Zulu, Irish, Mauritian, Mauritian Indian, Indian and colored. colored. What does colored mean? In South, I would be classified as a colored woman. In other places, I would be classified as a black woman. Race is classified differently in different parts of the world. I don't expect to be identified as colored outside of South Africa by anyone not comfortable doing so because I understand the weight of that word outside of South Africa. But to close this conversation, I'm both colored in South Africa and a black woman. As a woman for the culture, it's and not or. With that being said, a sambe? Am I yeah. saying that right, my South African massive, yeah. or sambe? So basically a colored person is like a mixed person. So Got if you were mixed it. race here in America, you, we call it mixed race. You'd be called colored over there. Simple. Got it. Okay. Right? All I was doing was trying to give her an opportunity to clear it up. 
because they said that's been a, a thing for her. Yeah. Now, here's the thing about the label. This is what I want to say so everybody knows. Labels always will come and say, hey, can you not ask this? Can you not ask that? Sometimes, depending on what, what it is, like if it's something like really personal, you know, really serious, something I know is traumatizing, I'll be like, sure, I'll oblige. For this one, I said no. Yeah. And the reason I said no, they had six things they didn't want us to ask. You want to know what those six things were? Yeah. They didn't want us to ask about Kai Sinat. <laughs> the whole we friends though thing. Yeah. Right? Like, huh? Okay. They didn't want to ask, they didn't want us to ask Chris about uh, her not being on tour with Chris Brown anymore. They didn't want us to ask about the color thing. Injury. They didn't want us to ask about her injury that she sustained. What else was it? They didn't want to ask us about who she was dating, which I wouldn't do anyway. And what was the other one? It was one so it was it was this all frivolous and stuff. And why? What are they trying to do? They're trying to protect an image that they're curating I, for her. I have no idea, and that's why I said. Oh, every, but the Rihanna thing, comparing. Oh yeah, and, and, and comparison, and it wasn't even Rihanna. It just said comparisons to other pop artists, huh? Oh, so they're trying to separate her from Kai Sinat. She's her own individual. Don't tie her to him. You want me to not ask her about Kai Sinat the day after Kevin Hart just was on Kai Sinat's show again with Bring a big ass up. sign that said, we friends though? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, come on, yo. So I said to them, no. Oh. Now, when I say no, I'm not going to oblige any yeah. of this. It is your job then, label, management, whoever, to either prepare the artist for the questions or pull the interview. Exactly, yeah. I'm fine with either or. Yeah. I've already told you I'm not going to follow any of this. Yes. So when you see dick suckers out there, yeah. dick suckers <laughs> are saying things like, you know, he asked every question they asked him not to ask yeah. because I'm not a dick sucker, yeah. right? And being that I'm not a dick sucker for record labels, yeah. I have a job to do and my job yeah. is, is for the people. So imagine, right, if I'm sitting around and I'm having a conversation, uh, you know, if we have these conversations and then all in the comments, it's like, why didn't you ask this? Why didn't you ask that? Why didn't you ask this? Why didn't you ask that? Yeah. I, got a, I got a job to do to the people. Yeah. My, my job... My integrity with the people will always matter more than my integrity with a goddamn record label. Yeah. And also the label's using you. A hundred percent. But you know, yeah. you got you have a lot of people that don't do that. You have a lot of radio personalities, a lot of journalists, a lot of people who care more about those relationships with the labels yeah. than they do relationships with the actual audience. And it shows. And, and it shows. Yeah. And not only does it show, you you show your card. Yeah. When you say that, when you say the the, the label asked him not to do it and he did it anyway. So the yeah. fuck what? Yeah. After I told the label. I ain't following that shit. So they knew. They, they so knew. why are they complaining? It, it, their job was to prepare their client yeah. or pull the, the interview. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine with either or. You want to be qualified. You want to be validated by doing The Breakfast Club. You're an artist in the culture. You want that experience on The Breakfast Club, but you want to control the interview. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can ask to do both things. You can ask as a favor, and then it's up to you to decide if you want to oblige or not, but... If you say that you don't want to do the interview in that way, then you don't have to do it. And you know how many interviews we've turned down when they be like, yo, you can't ask about this, See, this, I'm this, not interested. This. I'm not interested. Because yeah. hey, maybe now's not the time for that artist. If that artist isn't ready to talk about these things, yeah. I don't want to have that conversation because it'll make us yeah. look crazy because certain yeah. things you got to talk about. Yeah. Now, there, now, you can also... If you have a relationship with the artist, go like, hey, is there anything that you don't feel comfortable talking about? They say something Absolutely. and they make that decision. That's possible. Absolutely. But the idea that the label is going to come in and like uh, curate this narrative. And also, you, the artists a lot of times don't even know. They have no idea. And I, by the way, I tell her that. Did I go? go the last yeah. thing I say to her in the interview, yeah. which the, by the way, the label wanted us to take that out. Mm. <laughs> they was like, could you take out what you said about mm. the label at the end? No, because yeah. it's the truth. Because yeah. I told her, I said, what happens is these label people, they come in here and then they tell, you know, uh, uh, personalities what they can't ask. And it makes things awkward. Dude, you know? this is how you ruin an artist, man. This yeah. is it, like we were just talking about earlier. This is actually a perfect example. Mm -hmm. When you don't talk about any of the things that allow you to be like an actual true human being, right? You stop the audience from having the ability to connect with you on that level. That's right. Doja, Megan Thee Stallion, it doesn't matter your opinions on them. The reality is they're connecting with people and those connections are converting to ticket sales and they're coming out and watching these crazy arena shows because of it. If you turn her into this generic cookie cutter, I'm pretty and I dance good artist 
and don't allow the people to make those honest, beautiful connections. It'll never work in 2024. It's Even not going to work. Get, don't get me wrong. She's popping, but that 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 don't last long. People want to connect with you. They want to you know, know who you are. On a personal level. Yeah. And by the way, she's, she's going to be miserable because she's going to have to have she's this not being mask herself. on. She's going to be, she gonna be a mask. That's right. Yeah. And by the way, she's got a great personality. Yeah. Yeah. Like there was very plenty charming. Of, there was plenty of times in the interview yeah. I'm fucking with her and she's giving it right back. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Because they they told me she was. That's the other thing too. Why you tell, why you give me all this information? You gave me six questions that I wasn't even going to ask. <laughs> I told him that. Did yeah. I tell him that, Taylor? I said, well, I didn't even know about this, 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 and this. Now I got Well, ask. thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> thank you very much for the information. Yeah. I, I didn't even know about 90% of that shit. Yeah. Then they told me that she was nervous. Yeah. And, you know, she had to go to the bathroom. I, why are you telling me all of this? Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm thinking I'm breaking the ice. Like, yo, they, you, you're in a safe space here. Yeah. You have no reason to be nervous. She's like, I'm not nervous. I'm like, well, why they told me you was nervous and I had to go do a nervous poop and all kind of stuff? And I'm just <laughs> making, that's, a, that's really happened. Yeah. She's like, who said I had to poop? Yeah. I was in there getting nice. Like, it was they a were like it was a vulgar of you to do that. Uh, get the <laughs> so fuck stupid. out of here. All right, well, okay. It's vulgar to it's vulgar to do the Tyler, but then when last time Cardi B was there, we had the exactly. same conversation exactly. with her for a month. It's totally exactly. okay. So, first five minutes. Yeah. Cardi was in the bathroom. Cardi was in the bathroom. Like, I had Cardi, I had this I had this shit. Like I had yeah, the bubble yeah, yeah, like yeah. So what's the difference? And guess what? People love Cardi. Yeah, you so go. why is it not vulgar when me and Cardi having a conversation about shit, but it's vulgar with Tyler? Isn't that interesting? Suck my dick. Is <laughs> right? Is it? Suck my dick. That's okay? interesting. And I need y'all like, to know that I suck my dick from the back. Okay? Yeah. Right? yeah. It's also I I I get annoyed when people uh when they like use the protection of women to really just take a shot at you or something That's like that. Because you you're fake protecting a woman. It's you're so actually crazy. using a woman. <laughs> She's a tool. Do you know what I mean? Like you're using this woman as a tool to take a shot at someone. And she everybody don't sees through it. Uh, it's yeah. the most obvious it's thing so in the world. It's so obvious. It's like, yeah, shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah. You, like, get the fuck out of here. You, like, really? Mm -mm. Like, come on. Yeah. But it's okay. I love it. Yeah. I listen, I need y'all to know something about me. Yeah. <laughs> you need chaos. <laughs> you need it. I don't. I don't even know if I need it. I just no, don't. I just know that it's something that will never not be you with me. You need it. It's it your most comfortable. It will never not be with me, Schultz. And yeah. I try. I'm, I, I'm. I'm trying to be peaceful. No, you can't. I'm trying to be <laughs> heal, a healed version of myself. I'm just out here. I'm really out here minding my business. You can't. Dude. But there's just some people who just can't get me off their mind, yeah. and I love it. Mm. I love that I'm on your mind. So yeah. motherfucking. Yeah. Much. Hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, you destroyed their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that they ever worked for. Man. <laughs> All the respect that they Man. tried to get. Like, Man. It's, it's done. It's Man. over. Man, listen. Nobody cares anymore. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> like, Man. wouldn't you? I mean, like, you have a little empathy. You got to have a little empathy for it, right? Nah, it's like, bro. There's one individual that came in and then took away from you everything you've ever worked for in your entire life. And, 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 and made you obsolete. And all praises due to God, man. God is so good. And yeah. it's just like, you can say whatever you want, do whatever you want, continue to paint all of these pictures. Yeah. The audience knows better. They're not slow. Well, that's... They know that you're just that, miserable. They know that you're just a hater. Here's That's the thing that probably irritates them the most. It's not only like, you know, the money is not there and the interest is not there and the respect isn't there, like all those things. Go, but the other thing is that you get to be you and they have to continue to pretend to be this other person. So they decided to pretend to be someone else because they thought it'd be good for their career. And then somebody came in and they were like really authentically themselves. And then that pretend shit seemed really fake and people recognized it and they moved away. And they can't pivot. So they're a prisoner nope. of their inauthenticity. That's right. And, and, that's right. And every time you hear yourself, you get more successful. And all they can do is comment on what I'm doing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I like the dick suck. Yeah. The dick, uh, get, come on, keep giving me. I love it. Suck, 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 suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it. I want you to suck and keep sucking. All right? It's like a never ending gob stopper. It's never going to go down. You're just going to be sucking, 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 sucking for the rest of your fucking life. Okay? I can't wait. All right, Jesus Christ! What else we got? <laughs> <laughs> so this is Javante Davis, Big Tank. 
Okay, <laughs> knocking out Frank Martin in the eighth round. I mean, what a fantastic fucking... fight. Love Gervonta Davis, but Gervonta Davis, it's time for you to get in the ring with some elite fighters because you are an elite fighter. There's too many elite people in your division that you haven't fought yet. So who do you want next? He hasn't fought Haney. He hasn't fought Shakur Stevenson. He hasn't fought Lopez. You got to start running him up. Nobody wants to see the Devin Haney fight. <laughs> he should do it just to do it. Yeah, but nobody. By the way, I think I think Tank beats all of them. The only person I don't know if Tank can can knock out is Lomachenko. Yeah, that's the only one. And if, and if he can't knock out Lomachenko, Lomachenko might outbox Tank. That's the thing. And win the fight by a decision. Yeah. Because when you watch a lot of these Tank fights. He loses like the first three rounds just feeling yeah. his opponent out because yeah. he's waiting to get that shot because he got game-changing power. It's crazy. Like, t like Frank it's Martin crazy. won like the first five rounds. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think they had him win like, in the first four. I was four. worried. Yeah. I was like, oh, nah, shit. Does he have worried. his number? I, I was never worried. I, you know, Tank looked a little bit rusty, but I was never worried because I saw that Frank was allowing himself to get popped every now and then. And it's only a matter of time before he do this shit. Look at I this mean, shit. This is so beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was, oh, it was really the oh, uppercut that knocked him out. And then he got stood he up by dazed. the ropes. He was completely out on his feet. And then that left hook dazed him. Yeah. The beautiful thing I loved about this man, Javante Davis already knew it was a knockout. He, didn't, he didn't run yeah, to the corner. Yeah. He ran and jumped on the ropes he and knew. suck it, suck it, suck it. Then the oh, backflip. Most yeah. exciting yeah. fighter in boxing is not even close. Yeah, I agree. Most Javante Tank Davis is the most exciting fighter in boxing and not even close. I didn't say the best. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I but, said the most exciting. And he brings the people out. He yeah. brings the people Every out. Every single time. Fun to watch. Yeah. Yo, they showed him watching the replay. Oh, he's so charismatic. <laughs> he he's was, adorable. He, he was just like, like, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God damn. He yeah, said, yeah, God yeah. damn. Watching his... And, oh, Ryan. This is great. Ryan. Now, Ryan is exciting, too. Oh, yeah. But not in the ring exciting. Uh, that's not true. I think he's got that knockout power. I think the left, but yeah. but the, he's not as exciting as Gervonta. Like yeah, in the ring, he's I, exciting in the ring, but not as exciting. Yeah, Gervonta is like at any moment, it's over. Like look at this shirt he got on. Ryan it's got a shirt that said "Tank's number one fan." Rematch me, bitch. I mean, I mean, yeah. Ryan is just an absolute promotional genius. Like what he's done and just turned it around in like a year is like unbelievable. I love it. Like, I want to see all of them start mixing it up though. I need to see Ryan and Shakur. I need to see Ryan and Lomachenko, and I need to see uh, Tank in the ring with the, with the, those three yeah. in particular. You got to get that on your resume, Tank. Yeah, because I, I think he beats yeah. all of them. I think Shakur needs an exciting fight. I like. I love. By the way, I love Shakur Stevens. Yeah, he's fantastic. But the last fight wasn't exciting. No, nah, it wasn't. And exciting. I think that he needs an exciting fight. If he has an exciting fight where he gets like a big finish, then that fight against Javante is fantastic. But I think that Lomachenko. Lomachenko's got the belt now. You fight Lomachenko against Javante. I mean, that's just like a fucking. I don't know if he can knock Lomachenko out though. But just because Lomachenko was a yeah. old, hardened veteran. Yeah, he's just got all those amateur fights. He just knows what he's doing. But at the same time, also, he's not going to tire out. Like, I think what happened to Frank is he started to slow down a little bit. He right. got a little bit of gas because, oh, wow, look mm. at that body shot. I mean, oh, mm. oh, my God. Yeah, he just creates so much power in such little yeah, Frank space. Frank is good. I like Frank. Frank is yeah. a cool athlete and everything, but he just knew it. He just is, he's, out, he's outclassed, baby. Yeah. The blow started to be too heavy. It's the first time he ever got knocked down. Wow. Oh, wow. First, he never got knocked down in the fight. He was undefeated. Yo, I, all I, that shot right there that Frank landed, I don't know if you can go back 10 seconds. They exchange shots. That shot right there knocks people out. That Frank lands on Javante. Watch this. Tank got Straight a great left chin. Hand. People don't give great him credit for Great fucking chin. Yeah, people don't give him credit for it. He is a fantastic chin. He even said that in the corner one time. He was like, man, he don't hit hard. Yeah. Like, he got caught with a couple shots from Frank. Like, yeah. they exchanged. Ooh. And, Oof. yeah. No, nah, Javante is the truth. Oof. Started boxing at seven years old. Been Beast. doing it ever since. Beast. Undefeated? Say again? Is he undefeated? I think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. Tank, nobody ever beat Tank? Yeah. Tank undefeated. Salute nah, to Tank, man. Chill out with that backflip thing. Why? Why? Bro, you saw how close the cameraman was to him? Well, cameraman got to get the fuck out the way. I'm you just know, saying. You know he's going to backflip. Yes, what the man. fuck is you up? Why are you all I'm on tape saying. when you know he's going to backflip? Get the fuck out the way, Mr. Cameraman. So you can know how. I'm... The fuck you got the camera all on Tank's nuts for? He comes in wrong one time, everybody's gonna be like, you just threw, out, threw away your career for some stupid shit. What? I like it. Let's uh, pay some bills. Hey, yo, let's pay some bills, man. Salute to Squarespace. Thanks to get. Oh, God, Taylor. What? Thanks again to Squarespace for supporting this week's episode of The Brilliant Idiots. 
Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products the content, the time, all in one place, all on your terms. Start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up. Tailor to your brand or business and optimize for every device. Easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated, optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. With Fluid Engine, the next generation website editor from Squarespace, it's never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity. Choose your website starting point and customize every design detail with reimagined drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile. Scratch your imagination online with Fluid Engine included in any new Squarespace site. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hezzy! This episode has also been brought to you by Blue Chew, man. Hard dick season for your girl, you know, for your wife, for your side chick, for whoever needs it. You need to be ready, set, locked, and loaded, and Blue Chew has got your back. Same active ingredients as inside Viagra, Cialis, but this is the Chew. It's one where we rock with, and it's the one that's going to be delivered right to your doorstep. You can get your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Use the promo code IDIOTS and get to sticking. Let's get back to the show. Um, church announcements. Let's do some church announcements. What you got, Schultz? Um, I'm gonna be in uh, Porterville, California, uh, June 28th, and uh, I'm gonna be in Waterloo, New York, July 26th, Mohegan Sun Arena, July 27th, and then Atlantic City, New Jersey. Uh, we added another show August 24th. So those are the shows that I got for the rest of the summer. Uh, you guys can go grab tickets at theandrewschultz.com now. Peace. Um, my book tour is over for the moment. Uh, I'll be back out in July. But go get Get Honest at Die Line. Why Small Talk Sucks. Thank you for making it a national bestseller, man. Thank you to everybody who um, that I saw out on the road over the last couple of weeks. Um, all, the, all the different press hits and everything that we've been doing, man. Just thank you, man. You know, three books is is, is not hard. Uh, I mean, three books is, is is not an easy task, you know, to do. And I never even thought I would write uh, three books, but we got it done. Right, Chris Morrow? Yes, sir. I shouted you out on uh, Bill Maher. I appreciate that. My mom saw it. Thank Aww. You. Yeah, I shouted How was Bill Maher? I love doing Bill's show, man. I mean, I, 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 like, I like Bill Maher. You know, you know what it is? The shows that you watch every week that you actually enjoy and yeah. actually appreciate, like, yeah. it's just always fun you know, going on them. And um, I never have done, I've never been a one-on-one -on -one <clears throat> guest on Ma before. Anytime I've done more, I've been on the panel. Um, so it, tell me about this clip that yeah. uh, went crazy. That exchange was a little awkward, it felt. It wasn't. The, the, the way the person edited it was awkward. Go, uh -huh. go, scroll up. First of all, should I even shout out the Twitter name that started this? But he put Charlemagne the God crumbles as Bill Maher counters him on Caitlin Clark. Now play 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 this play the clip. This is the clip that he the, the person edited. It's a minute six seconds. Now this is a minute six seconds out of a four minute twenty second conversation. Play it. I think that's the problem, problem that this this young woman, there's so many examples where I mean black people are very marketable. Well after she, 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 she seems to have been indoctrinated into this they don't see it as marketable, so it doesn't matter how hard I work. Well, it is, I mean, if it's, that's accurate or healthy. I mean, we see the cut. People come into the league and they're like the biggest thing in college. Isn't that a big deal? No, because it also was the biggest thing when she came out of South Carolina. That's where I'm from. So she was one of the biggest things when she came out of South Carolina, number one drafted. And she didn't get all of that. So what do you attribute that to? I, I mean, you you're saying that's racism. No, I'm not saying it's racist. I'm just saying that I think Asia Wilson has a point. I think sometimes when, uh, you know, uh, black women say certain things, we should listen, especially her, because I'm not in her shoes. I don't know, but why, why was Serena Williams such a big star? Because people like that. It, they did not not watch her because she was black, right? Yeah. Okay. So where are we with this? I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I'm just sitting back observing the conversation, you know, but I do think... You're in the conversation. What do you mean? I'm not in this conversation. <laughs>
Now, play the play the unedited four minute twenty second clip so you get yeah, better really context. This this young. You know what's crazy though? When I left the show, I said, I wonder what they're gonna take from this interview and manipulate online. Mm. The, 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 the start a conversation mm. when all you had to do when, when actually posting the in context is just as good of a conversation mm. if not better about Peyton Clark because that has it's similar to that Absolutely. Um, okay so there was a lot of controversy because she's not gotten a big welcome there in the WNBA which mm. is only 20% white um, here's the Las Vegas Aces star Angel Wilson said South um, Carolina by the way 803 that's where she's from I'm from the same okay I know you are <laughs> Best, best women's player in the WNBA, Angel Wilson. Okay, maybe now. I don't know. I no, don't, she hasn't been for oh, two oh, MVPs. Oh, oh, yeah, look, yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. follow women's basketball. Oh, okay. I said it last week. I don't apologize. I don't follow college. I don't follow lots of sports. Pause this real quick, Taylor. Just the big three at playoff. I love this. You know why? Why? Because Bill's a brilliant idiot like us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't watch, watch it at shit. all, now, well, I'm going to give well, you my opinion. Exactly. Yeah, 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 I love yeah. that. Yeah. Let's play, Taylor. Off time. Gotcha. <laughs> But she said, uh, a lot of people may say it's not about black and white. She's talking about her and Caitlin Clark and okay. Caitlin Clark getting such a big hoopla. It really is because you can be top notch at what you are as a black woman, but yet maybe that's something that people don't want to see. They don't see it as marketable. So it doesn't matter how hard I work. Really? You think that's right? I mean, I would say the three biggest stars, most untouchable stars are Oprah, Michelle Obama and Beyonce. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and, and marketable, Serena Williams, Simone Biles, I mean, uh, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, I mean, come on. K Caitlin Clark has a tangible quality that nobody can really quantify, and what that is, just the ability to put seats, I mean, to put asses in seats. Like, you don't know who's going to be a draw, and you don't know who's not going to be a draw. I mean, there's been plenty of, you know, white women basketball players who've come through that have been great, right? But they just weren't able to draw the type of audience that Caitlin Clark has. And I think the other thing with Caitlin, Anytime you are a, uh, a race that is in an industry that usually doesn't excel in that industry, it's going to be more of a, a spectacle, whether it's, you know, Tiger Woods in golf, whether it's Eminem in hip hop, whether it's Obama right. in politics. When you are a race that is in an industry that, you know, usually doesn't have people from that race excel in that industry, it's going to be more of a spectacle. But I you think don't that's think it's a problem that this, this young woman, there's so many examples where, I mean, Black people are very marketable. Well, ask yourself and this. She thinks, Why and she it? seems to have been indoctrinated into this. They don't see it as marketable, so it doesn't matter how hard I work. Well, Asia's I don't been, think that's, that's accurate or healthy. Well, Asia's been in the league for like six, seven years. She's got two MVPs. She's won a couple of championships, but she's just getting a signature shoe now, right? Caitlin Clark's got a $20 million Nike deal already as a rookie. So what do you, what, how do you explain that? I, I don't know. Because... This is somebody who apparently, again, I don't know anything about women's basketball, but they said that she broke all the records in college. In college, yeah. Okay. I mean, when people come into the league and they're like the biggest thing in college, isn't that a big deal? No, because Asia Wilson was the biggest thing when she came out of South Carolina. That's where I'm from. So she was one of the biggest things when she came out of South Carolina, number one draft pick, and she didn't get all of that. So what do you attribute that to? I, I mean, you th you're saying that's racist. so interesting. I know. No, it's I'm not saying it's racist. Yeah. I'm just saying that I think Asia Wilson has a point. And I think sometimes when, uh, you know, uh, black women say certain things, we should listen, and especially her, because I'm not in her shoes. I don't know. But why Why was Serena Williams such a big star? Because people like that. It, what, they didn't not watch her because she was black, right? Bad yeah. point. Well, okay. Serena's in a white sport. So where are we with yeah. this? Yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. I, 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 well, furthermore, I furthermore, know. pause. Furthermore, it, you... Wow. Yeah, this is crazy. And, and this is the this is like the problem with the Internet is that and there's a Colin Quinn is a comedian who's absolutely brilliant. He's a he's legend and he has this uh, great bit. He was in his new special where he talks about like uh, he goes, by the way, what's happening right now? He's doing it live. This isn't real. What's real is the comments because mm. comments live forever. This performance will live just in this room right mm. now. Mm. But the comments and. The tweets and whatever about it, those live forever. So people, the whole world thinks that is reality mm -hmm. and not this. This is no longer reality. Right. That is. Mm -hmm. And it's a crazy word perspective because that video, which we watch right now, is designed to make you look stupid. And effectively, I don't say it makes you look stupid, but it doesn't make you look good. This is a thoughtful answer that makes Bill look like he doesn't have the answers. Yeah, it think. makes Bill he's, look He's stumped. backpedaling. He's yeah, the one backpedaling, <laughs> not you. No, 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 press play. Keep press play. Press play, Taylor. Wow.
I'm just sitting back observing the conversation, you know, but I do think you're that, in the conversation. What do you mean? I'm not saying? a woman. I'm not saying you're in this conversation. <laughs> I'm not a woman. I'm trying, I guess I'm trying to ask, what are you asking me? Like, what is the question you're asking me? Are you asking me, is it racist? Pause right here. That's what, that's what I'm like, like what do you, I'm, I don't understand what you're asking me right now. Because I thought I just explained to you yeah. why somebody like that would be marketable. And then yeah. she, he made a valid point. He said, uh, people did not watch Serena. People did not not watch Serena because she's black. But yeah, but it's not really got? a valid point because she was a black person in a, in white, a sport. white dominated sport. And yeah. also, what I would say is that she played the game. One, the, the viewing for female tennis was always higher. But That's two, right. she played the game in a way that was very exciting. That's right. Uh, I feel like what I feel like the that what Asia is saying is I don't know I didn't get it as it was just a racial thing I just felt like it was she wasn't markable not just because of race yeah we're having a marketing conversation yeah but it's like yes. maybe her game isn't as markable as Caitlyn Caitlyn is hitting logo threes she's the first girl in history to do that regularly we like logo threes we like Steph when he does it we like Dame when he does it right. we like it when any NBA player is hitting logo threes now we have a WNBA girl that does it nobody in the WNBA does it with her frequency before yeah. not Asia Wilson. Which now, women's basketball. In women's basketball. Yeah, yeah. Now, there are female basketball players that have games that are far more boring, but they're effective. Those are not marketable. You cannot market, market Angel Reese's game. It's not exciting to the average basketball But you can market fan. Angel Reese. But you can market Angel Reese because she's great on TikTok. She's great yeah. in her ability to engage with people. And she's great in press conference and the whole thing. So you can market that side of it. But when whopping, we're talking about... Whopping Caitlin upside the head. Basketball play. Bas but still, we like to see that shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know now, about now, basketball now, play, now, but now, go, go. Press play, Taylor. Watch. Is Caitlin Hart success because she's only white? Is that what like, you're saying? Like I said, I think that when you are a, a, a race that excels in an industry, right. where that race usually doesn't excel. It's more of a, a spectacle. And the fact that she's actually really, really good. Like you said, she broke, you know, the scoring record in college. But more importantly, people watch her. People sit down in seats. They come to games because of her. She breaks viewership records. So, I mean, I think all of that plays a, a part. I don't Pause. know why we act like it Pause. has to be one thing. It can be. Pause. Sorry to interrupt you. You already know where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. Why was this, if this conversation was about Jeremy Lin, there wouldn't be a question. <laughs> Just take out Caitlin Clark, put in Jeremy Lin, and then people go, I think people are watching because he's Asian. We've never seen no shit like that before. But this is, this is the thing where I think like, Bill just doesn't know enough about sports or he just doesn't know enough about the conversation in general. He doesn't know about Caitlin Clark's play clearly because what he's trying to do is make this a racial issue when it is a race issue about a minority in a sport, yes. which is what you're saying, yes. mixed with a really exciting like she's play. She's really good and she puts ass in the seats. What you said is true, Schultz. People pay attention to the comments. Bill doesn't watch the sport. So Bill's listening to the commentary. Just to the conversation. And since the commentary is rooted around yeah. race and everybody's talking about race, yo, let me tell you the why. Deadline said some wild shit. Deadline posted this, and they posted it in context. They didn't post the wild clip. They posted it in context and said, yeah. Solomon God gets real about Caitlin Clark's success. Deadline said that I said it was because the NBA, the WNBA was gay. I didn't say nothing about the WNBA being gay. Well, I mean, it, <laughs> like, I didn't say. Holy shit! Gay. Hold on. They oh, must have been. They must have been listening to the podcast and mistake. No, yeah, Andrew, we never said you. that either. We <laughs> no, never yeah. talked about that on the podcast. Now that you see said. what outfits they wear to show up to the games, you know who's gay and who's not. <laughs> Look, Charlemagne the God gets real on Caitlyn's clock appeal with Bill Maher. Among his beliefs that Caitlyn Clark's immediate impact on the WNBA is because in a league where a majority of women are black and there's a large number of gay players, she's different. I never said that never shit. Too gay. But <laughs> they need to throw it in. They need to throw it in. He <laughs> I, 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 I never said that. But no, I, I like Bill Maher's show. I think it's dope. Um, it's just funny that whoever cut that is a big Caitlin Clark fan, right? And it's a white dude. Because I saw him on YouTube, and he was trying to make it seem like racist. I'm not even on the race angle here. I'm just saying no, that no, no. race you're, is a factor. You're on the race angle, but in a different way. Yes. You are making the J, uh, what is it, Jeremy Lin argument. That's right. It's That's just, right. we never saw an Asian play this type of basketball be this effective. Asians came out, and they are like, I really want to see that. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yes. The same, and all of a sudden, it becomes the biggest sensation in New York basketball in the last, I don't know, 20 fucking years, 30 years or something like that. It was absolutely crazy. Right, Lynn Sanity was crazy. He got a fucking 30 for 30, yo. Yeah. For I 10 mean, games. Let's just... Let's, <laughs> he got a 30 for 30 for 10 games. How many games did he play? He literally got a 30 for fucking 30 for like 15 games. It was yeah. also the... 
he was from Harvard and he was undrafted. It was hey. Nobody hey, cared about hey, it. He did hey, nothing, hey, Chris. It was he didn't even lead them to the playoffs. Chris, Chris, Chris. Did they even make the playoffs that year? Chris, nobody knows and nobody cares. I cut it out, Chris. He, it's, there's one reason, Chris. It's because he was an Asian guy Man. getting buckets. 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 Yep. And <laughs> not yep. getting buckets an Asian way. Where you like shooting some weird fucking jump shot <laughs> yeah, like how man. Asians play? Yes. Like Asians got the weirdest fucking yes. jumpers I ever His seen. His jump in my shot life. was a little weird, but okay. Not even, bro. He had nice elbow tucked. He was good to go. He's getting buckets. He's going to the basket. Talking he's shit. talking shit, taking over. I don't know if he's talking shit. He's a Christian, but still. <laughs> Point is, he was doing it, and he was doing it for a franchise that historically sucked. Yeah. And all of a sudden they were winning and he was balling out and it was a sensation in a city with a massive Asian population. I remember during Linsanity, the amount of Asians that were at Knicks games sure, was sure. unprecedented. Yeah. You would think it was <laughs> championship. <laughs> Bleep that. <laughs> that one is funny. <laughs> 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 but all the point, is, <laughs> point is, point is, Chris. Yes. Okay. The point is, Chris. They beat me to it. But that's yeah. what you would think it was. I'm just saying, if he had been the number three pick in the draft, nobody and, and it, it played in North Carolina, it'd it be didn't slight, matter. I'm not saying it's the major part of it. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. All right. it didn't it's matter. all because he was a. If Kaylin Clark was Yao black, Ming, one of the top. I think if of, I think if she was black, it, to me, I can only speak for myself. It's the way she plays that excited me. She'd be just another good black basketball. No, 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 no. no. There's yeah. something. Yo, Juju. It's like what Andrew said. No, 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 no. no. Nope. If, it's that pulling from the exactly. logo. If if she was black and pulling from the logo, it would be the same. same. Yeah. It's, it is, but. I don't like, think it'd be the same. No, 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 no. Well, listen, lot. everything changes, but if she's black and pulling from the logo, we're watching. The fact that she's white and pulling from the logo takes it up a notch because you have the minority yes. that's playing whatever. That being yes. said. If she's pulling up from the logo, everyone's watching. Yeah. But like, for example, with Eminem, he was pulling up for the low from the logo with the bars. You, ca- you got to give he it to was, him. And then he was also white. He was also white. And, and that 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 matters whenever yes. you are. And I don't know why. It's, if you're a casual, if you're a real hip hop fan, you just care that he's pulling from the logo. That, no, <laughs> real hip hop fan. Dude. You still like that white boy. Is yeah. Nice. No, but that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's what he's that's saying. saying. What he's saying, he's saying. He's oh. saying that, that a real hip hop fan is going to really care about the bars because he's pulling up from the logo and right. also care about his white, but the bars are what's really important. Right. The casuals are going, oh, this white guy well, is nice. Exactly. I, exactly. I'll push back on that a little bit. I always said if Eminem was white, he'd be Redman. Redman is phenomenal. I love him. Amazing bars. Fantastic. One of the best to ever do it. But he ain't the biggest hip-hop star in the world. But he was so big that he had a movie. He had a movie. Like yeah, Red yeah, Man, yes. and Red Man yes. made yes. it to the mountain. His talent, yes, absolutely. His talent got him to heights that a lot of rappers didn't. How get many to rappers there. got movies? Like so, That's so, right. no, so right. to your, successful movies. Yeah, too. exactly. Yeah. So being the minority in the thing might take you to the stratosphere, but just, you got to be good. But just being you good be great. and yeah. doing it different. That's right. Gets you to That's the right. promise line. That's right. I'm not taking yeah. nothing away from Eminem. One of the greatest to ever hold a microphone. Mm-hmm. Tiger Woods, one of the greatest to ever hold a fucking golf club. Yeah. Serena Williams, one of the greatest ever hold a tennis racket. Caitlin Clark, the the best. At least as far as we've seen women's basketball player that I've seen in my lifetime, Caitlin Clark is the best to me. Best, well, at least offensively. Yeah, scoring I would, wise, I would just say the best shooter, shooter, shooter. That's yeah, what yeah, I'll I give say. it. That. Yeah, yeah, just there the you best go. three there point you shooter, and we there like you go. threes. Bro. There you go. There threes you go. are fun. There you go. Steph changed the way that we look at basketball. We really value threes now. Yeah, and the fact that we value them, and there's a girl who's doing it like Steph. And she got the other tangible quality that nobody ever factors in. I haven't heard that yet in this conversation. She's a draw. Well, it's because of the game, but yeah. But even, but there's I don't even know if it's because of the game. There's people out there that got that game that ain't a draw. Damian Lillard is a fantastic basketball player. That's a great point. Is he a draw? No. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a fantastic He would have been if he was in a bigger player. market in the in the prime of his career. If yeah. he had been in New York, yes. But, but the, he, could you, if he would have been. Yeah. If he was a draw. He would have been that in Portland. And I love Damian Lillard. I'm not taking nothing from Damian Lillard. No, with all due respect for Damian Lillard, who's one of the best basketball players alive, I, I agree with you. The game is not so distinct like Steph's game was. He can do all the things, but it's not so distinct that you're like, I need to watch this guy play. There are certain guys where you just need to watch them play. Allen Iverson was one of them. Michael Jordan yeah. was one of them. Kobe. Kobe was one of them. Yeah, you Steph. You need Steph. Like, Steph, Steph Curry, Golden State, Golden State was not like that before Steph Shaq. Curry, yo. 
Shaq. Shaq, Dude, yes. Orlando Shaq. Come on, man. L.A. Shaq, like where you're looking at absolute fucking dominance. Yo, when Shaq was in Orlando, they was calling Orlando the East Coast L.A. Yeah. Oh, wow. Straight up. I remember that. I, you just never saw a human being move with that agility and that weight. It just never... We was trying to find LSU games on television. Right. Oh, wow. Right. People yeah. don't remember. I remember that because you yeah, kept... Yeah. This was before the internet. So you kept hearing about this guy yeah. who was like eight feet tall, yeah. 400 pounds, could run the floor. I mean, it was an exaggeration, yeah. right? But it's like, I got to see this dude play. We were yeah. trying... He was bringing down backboard. I had an LSU baseball cap. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like sometimes you play a game in such a transformative way that we need to watch. Right. Damian Lillard doesn't do that even though he's one of the best basketball players alive. Uh, Kawhi Leonard doesn't do that, Not even though he's one of the That's best basketball yes. players. Yes, yes. Kyrie Irving yes. does do that. He's a draw. You need to watch when Clay he's Thompson playing. Thompson when he's on the heater. Only when, when he's on the heater. Only when he wanted on the heater he was. But right. outside of that, you don't like, oh, I need to watch Clay. But I want to see the clips when he goes off. Oh, you want to see it. Yeah, crazy. I got to watch yeah, it. Right. And I, I love Damian Lillard. I think Damian Lillard is fantastic. One all of the I'm best simply, in the world. That's right. All I'm simply saying is some people, you can have all the talent in the world, and for whatever reason, you may not be a, a draw. Patrick Ewan was one of the best basketball players in the world at the time. You didn't need to watch him. And like, he was in New York. And he was in New York. But it wasn't like, <laughs> you know people would rather watch John Starks get hot. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, Bernard, you know, like, or Bernard King when he was cooking, which is a long day, time yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you, You're right. That's a good point. You don't know what. I don't know why Caitlin Clark is the draw she is. I don't. I really don't. I can't just chalk it up to whiteness. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Just, she's got a tangible. Because in college, it felt like she could score from anywhere. Yeah. And I got to see it. If you didn't D her up, it was Pause. three. Yeah. Now, now that wouldn't Final be pause. pause. That'd be yeah. fast forward. She's right. a girl. That's right. But right. what I will say is this. We came from a time where when when women would shoot a basketball, they would have to take a step into it because they didn't have the <laughs> upper body strength to shoot from distance. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the girls back, like the older girls in WNBA still do it. They don't like do crossover, step back, and then jump shots. They would kind of like have their left foot forward and then like step into their threes. These girls now are doing jumpers like the dudes. Yeah. And we're watching, so our generation is seeing a girl play basketball who used to not have the upper body strength to hit a regular three, hit logo threes off the dribble, step yeah, back. Man. Yeah, man. How you not gonna watch that? How you not gonna watch that, man? Salute to salute to Kayla. Listen, I'm, I, I like the WNB. I've been telling you, I like women's basketball. Period. So you know, I'm I'm, I'm definitely biased towards Asia Wilson. I think Asia is very exciting to watch because mm. Asia is like a, a she's like a joke. It's like she's a big she's a big she's a big woman, right? I'm saying big man, but she's like a big woman. Mm. But she can she'll post you up. She'll take you to the paint, but then she can shoot. From no, long she, range. A, oh, Asia Wilson. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about Angel yeah, Asia Reese. Wilson. Not yeah, Asia, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but to her point, I will say this. Mm -hmm. I saw Dawn Staley play in person in high school. Mm -hmm. She had one of the most electric games I've ever I seen. I keep hearing that. I never saw Incredible. it. Incredible. And for whatever reason, that didn't translate. So I think that's kind of like a comp to think of. Mm. She never... She's gotten that love and appreciation as a coach. Mm -hmm. But, like, I'm telling you, I saw her. I had no idea who she was. It was before our game, and I was like, who the fuck is this? You know what else, Chris? That's a great point you bring up, because that's the other thing, right, um, when it comes to what Asia's talking about. The WNBA as a whole has just started to become more marketable. Yes. Right. You know what I mean? Like, just the women's basketball Period. They tried it with Rebecca Lobo and Lisa uh, Lisa Leslie. There just wasn't enough back. interest, and they weren't compelling players. Hey, hey, you can't brand around. It's not branding around the best player. It's branding around the most marketable player. But it's also consumer interest. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the yeah. most marketable player is going to be consumed by the people the best. Yeah. So Asia Wilson is undeniably the best female basketball player alive, averaging 28 and 11 right now. Just an absolute dominant dominant force. But she's not the most marketable player alive in terms of people wanting to see her play the game. If she so. no, 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 no. It's oh no, no, not the most marketable. That's what I'm saying. Marketable, no, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not no, no. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, could yeah. be second. What I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah, is yeah. she's not the most marketable yeah. because she played last year and they weren't in 18,000 seat stadiums. That's true. And now Caitlin Clark is in and they're doing 18,000 seats. Yeah. Caitlin's a draw. Like it's like it's just it's simple. We remember we had these conversations about who's an arena artist and who's not. Simple, yo. It's like, like it's that. not difficult. It's really not it's like that, that difficult. Yeah, at all. You know. Um, but nah, salute to Bill Maher. Man. I, I gotta go do Club Random. I fuck with Bill. I like Bill Maher. He's like one of the last 
unapologetically themselves people on yeah. television. Yeah. Like Bill don't Bill give a fuck. Uh, fuck. Yep. Bill says what he wants to say, yep. when he wants to say it, how he wants to say it. He don't give a shit. He just he pisses off the Republicans one week, the Democrats, Democrats the next week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I I have no problem with it whatsoever in any way, shape, or form. I fuck with Bill Maher. All right, let's do some asking idiots, gang, gang. Do some asking idiots. Do some asking idiots, Taylor. Taylor thinks she's going to see Dave Free. Nah. She thinks she's she going knows. to see Kendrick Lamar. She knows. Do you want me to wear your shit or not? Oh, wow. Because clearly doing you, you a don't favor, want yo. me to. Yo, you she's doing you a favor, you yo. Listen, Juneteenth is Wednesday. Go to thelegacyofresilience.com. You know, check out our Point Comfort line that just dropped, okay? Those are my peoples over there. You know, they got some really cool stuff you see me wearing. Salute to the young lady that gave me this shirt, too. I like this shirt. Oh, what's that one? Um, I forgot it. It's called uh, nice. Black <laughs> Prince. <laughs> I'm sorry, Queen. It's called the Black Prince. She bought this to me in LA at a book sign, and I had her a card with me, too. I'm pretty sure it's called the Black Prince. She's dropping these on Juneteenth, okay? I have nothing to do with this. This is just my people's. What I is like it her say? shirt. It just says, uh, run us our reparations. I like the design. I like the way it looks. Run us our <clears throat> reparations. Yeah, I like the way it looks. Oh, did you see this shit? Automatically registering men 18 to 25 for United States draft. The U.S. House, Got of, him. The US House of Representatives has passed a defense bill that will automatically register men age 18 to 26 for the United States draft. Currently, the Selective Service, better known as the draft and not part of the Department of Defense Armed Services, is mandatory for male U.S. citizens age 18 to 25. On Friday... The Republican-controlled House has now passed a measure mandating that men between the ages of 18 and 26 will be automatically registered for the U.S. military selective service system. Although the draft hasn't been invoked in over a half a century, it is currently mandatory for all male U.S. citizens to register for the selective service upon turning 18 years old. I did not know that. Failure to do so is considered a felony, and many legal consequences will ensue. The defense bill, which was led by Representative Chrissy Houlihan, Houlihan arrives as part of the annual National Defense Authorization Act, which plans out the U.S. government's military and national security priorities over the next fiscal year. What do you think about that, Chris? Uh, I mean, I'm glad that I'm old, and I'm glad that I have daughters is my instant reaction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought there was something for women, too. I Play with Car I, I wish you was eligible. Play Cardi B, Taylor. <laughs> Play Cardi B, Taylor. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why do you hate me so much? I he doesn't love hate you. you. Okay? Come on. I love you, Taylor, and you know this. Come on, girl. <laughs> Play what Cardi B said. Turn the audio on first. There you go. read an article saying that the House just passed a bill that they're going to automatically register men from 18 to 26 for war. Okay? And all I'm going to say is to America, good luck with that. These new little niggas are TikTokers, baby. These motherfuckers ain't gonna fight no whore. We gonna die. You gonna die. You might as well just keep motherfucking uh, investing money and in, got guns. Cause these these new kids, you wanna send these new kids to fight these wars? The TikTok fucking hip shakers? Out of your mind. <laughs> this is a new America, baby. This ain't the 19 motherfucking. Now, like, seriously, you're going to draft these kids that be TikTok what do you and think, all day fight them, what? I'm most like, what, I mean, she Russians? got a point. I think Cardi's 100% That Them correct. motherfuckers that be fighting bears. I also, pause that. I, I also like the fact that our our army is voluntary. I think that gives us a, an advantage. Like, everybody in our army signed up because they want to get be there. busy. Word up. When you go up against a country where they're forced to, they're like literally handcuffed and placed into the service. They're arrested if they're not there. Their heart ain't in it. They don't want to be there. I they're not trying to do That's it. Russia's Agreed. problem right now. Say again? That's no. Russia's problem. Exactly. Right that's now. Russia's problem. That's a lot of countries' problems right now. So I like the fact that the people that are in our military are like, this is what I am committing myself to, and I'm trying to bang out, give me an opportunity, put me in coach. You don't think other people, people in other countries, since they, since it's the, since it's their tradition, it's their way, they're not like, I can't wait to go in the motherfucking military. I, think I can't wait like, to go blow some shit up. I think they're I like, can't, I can't wait to get out. Really? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. What do you guys think yeah. about the Russian model that they're doing now where they're offering uh, people in jail, you can get out, if you join the military. Well, it's they, almost like... Didn't I just fucking... Didn't I say that on Breakfast Club today? I said, instead of doing a fucking 
uh, selective draft or whatever the fuck it is they're doing. Mm -hmm. Everybody, if you're in prison right now yeah. and you got a life sentence yeah. or some 50, 60, 70 year, 100 year sentence, or if you're on death row, scrap them up, baby. Send them straight over there on the fucking plane. Nah. Bro. Put bombs on them. Nah, I don't <laughs> oh my God, don't, Charlotte. They, send them to the no, I territory. I can't drop them in. What, what do you got to lose? I get what you're saying, but just don't strap them up. Nah, but you on death row. <laughs> They're going to be the first ones to be treasonous and snitch. And they already break the rules. You, all you're doing is you, you're literally from prison yeah. to a van yeah. to a jet. No, I'm Fly saying I'm once over. they over there, they're gonna cross the the enemy lines and what be like, gonna Yo, tell? here's all the secrets. What secrets? I've been in prison for the last twenty years. The secrets of the military that they're working for. You don't tell them all that. <laughs> sure. You give them a fucking gun, some bombs, and say, "Those are the motherfucking ops. Handle your business, man." And then what if they go? All right, I don't know about all this shit. I'm gonna try to sell my stuff, and then I'm gonna desert. If you want to go live in Russia, it's fine. If you want to go live in Ukraine, do your motherfucking thing. Well, the the, the problem they're having is so they did it. People did their tour of service, right? Yeah. Got out, and now get to come back and join the ones who survived. Come back to civilian population. They start committing crime. and they're fucking murdering people. Yeah, first yeah, of yeah. all, first of all, yeah. Russia shouldn't have played fair. What do you mean? You just kill them afterwards. Oh. Oh my god. Since when Russia start playing for you know what the fuck is going on, y'all? Like what the fuck? Russia like, getting soft. Like what the, what the fuck Russia are we talking soft. about? What are we talking about? It would be the same thing. And by the way, I wouldn't promise them anything. All yeah. I would simply say is, listen, you're gonna die here anyway. Yeah. Have fun, bro. Yeah. Call the, of duty. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Call of duty. Oh, that's what I would tell them. <laughs> you're, you're already in jail for life. You're already on death row. Yeah. Call of duty, baby. That's it. Just, just go have fun. <laughs> That's you. You want to? You really want to just die in here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But now, what if they start attacking innocent civilians because they're like, "Yo, fuck it, YOLO." You're dropping now, them on the battlefield. Yeah, and but now you're training civilians. them. So now they got military I training. Train them to do shit. Yo, Charlotte. <laughs> Yo, Charlotte. <laughs> All you need is how to fire this motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give them bombs. Like what? The, what the jihadists do? How do you think bombs work? <laughs> let, let the jihadists drop them in the battlefield. Run right out there and guess what? Guess what? We have trackers on you. So if you don't go bomb this shit, detonate you on a detonate <laughs> you yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right out. You gotta work this one out. <laughs> I got it worked out. No, I just gotta. need somebody smarter than me to come in Taylor. and put this shit together. Taylor, give us some ass. I know. Right this is great. I'll detonate yeah. you myself. <laughs> You're not getting off this battlefield. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're not getting back to this plane, baby. Okay. Oh, uh, do some asking yeah, idiots. Yeah. <laughs> People at home just missed a great segment. <laughs> yeah. Why are we keeping that? No, we <laughs> keeping that in. What's yeah, wrong with that? That's too good. That's crazy. Why no, is that crazy? I thought about it. Shit. <laughs> All right. Why wouldn't you? Okay, if you were a woman, would you date yourself? Hell yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Hell yeah. Especially Dick the, crazy. Yeah. Especially Ball's this version nice. of myself. Yeah. Successful. Oh, that successful, you know what I'm saying? funny, dick smart. magnificent. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? What the hell stroke, are you talking about? Stroke game crazy. I'm just describing. Protective. I'm describing you. <laughs> it's my guy right there. You know what I'm saying? It's my guy right there. Yes, I would date myself, especially this version of myself. Of course. Why yes, wouldn't I? This person. 100%. First of all, Taylor, <laughs> you're not going to no concert. I, you know what? I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, no I'm, concert. Really, I'm really getting close to asking God. God, give me one more for the year. Why? Yo, just give me one more for the year. Yo, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Right? Just ask. I've been God. very blessed this year, but yo, I need one more. Yo, yo, do one prayer. Do one prayer. You one think time. I should just give her one. I think you should give her just one prayer. Give her one. My, prayer, give her is, one my prayer. prayer is harder. Yeah, right. Whoa. Okay. If you were a woman, would you date yourself? Yeah, that's the answer to that. Of course. Like now. Yes. In the past. I would have dated myself at any time. Oh God. Come I've on. always been a good man. Always. Cheating is good. It's good. It's, it's listen, it's it's <laughs> fucked up, but I, I still make me any less of a good man. That's, I'm always been a good man. A little less of a good no, man. No, it doesn't. If, cheating, if you're trying to be loyal. Cheating does not make you a bad man. Was Martin Luther King Jr. a bad you? man? What does it make you? Was Martin Luther King Jr. a bad you? man? What does it make you? Was Reverend Yo, Martin Luther King Jr. a bad man? What does it make you? Hey, 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 I'm just cheaters. Asking hey, I'm cheaters. asking a question too. Cheaters, stop invoking Martin Luther King Jr.'s name to okay. save your ass. Was Bill Clinton a bad man? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> cheaters. <laughs> cheaters, stop invoking Martin Luther King Jr.'s name. <laughs> was Bill Clinton a bad man? Chris, was Bill Clinton a bad man? Didn't he, didn't he kill mean, a bunch of people? The... 
his I mean, politics were good. His personal behavior was bad. You can yeah, put it like that. I was with somebody the other day, boy, and they was talking about that shit so much, it started making me uncomfortable. What, the Clinton body count? What? Yeah. What, where the fuck was I? Who was doing that shit? It was somebody of note, too. I don't remember who the fuck I was at. But they was letting that shit Bill fly. Mar? Bill Maher? Nah, it wasn't Maher. It was somebody... Because they were talking about, because you know, I wrote about Hillary in my book. Andrew. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they Maybe it was when that. I did the Daily Show. Probably. Anyway. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. No, 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 it was, because there was some, there was some, uh, some Clinton, some Clinton murder jokes in there. And then they were like, what? I was down to Sam. I and was they, with it. And then they did it? I think, yeah, it just, we, we cut for time. I think. <laughs> for time. I think we cut for time. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. You know, we didn't cut that. I just saw time. somebody look at me and go, I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're about to yeah, be dead. Yeah, that's Uh, um, <laughs> uh Shamar Crawford, what have you done that you believe made your family the proudest? Schultzy? Um, like as a man or? I don't know. What have you done that you believe made your family the proudest? I think it's always just been like taking care of them. I think that's probably the most. I think they're proud of the achievements, but like just taking care of them, being a good man, uh, yeah, I think that that's, that's probably the thing that they're deep down that they're proud of. It's easy to like share the successes in your career. Those are yeah. more shareable. You don't like your post daughter. on Facebook about what you do. Your daughter? Yeah, I think it, for me, it wouldn't be like having a daughter. It would be like the way I am with my daughter. Same. They would be proud of. Yeah. Like having the kid, a lot of people have them that aren't, shouldn't mm. even. But like, it's just like the behavior. I think that's, yeah. Yeah, only two people, maybe three that I care about as far as my family and what made me, I don't want to say that, it's not fucked up. I care about my family, but I'm talking about what I care about what they think. Hmm. And that would be my grandma who's no longer here, God bless the dead. R.I.P. And uh, my mom and my dad, right? So for me, I know that my grandmother and mother would be most proud of the man I am with my wife and my family. Hmm. More, more so than anything else, more than any, Success, anything like that. I just, I know that they're they they're proud of, uh, yeah. You know, the man I am with my wife and my family. That's the most important. That is the most important thing, yo. Showing Without up and that. being that fantastic husband. Showing up being a fantastic. That's the most important thing to me too. Yeah. By the way, I don't give a fuck about none of this other shit at all. Like, as long as I can protect and provide my family, and you know, be the best husband and be the best father I can be. Everything else is gravy, baby. Amen. Um, Oscar B. Savage on him says, top five books, Charlotte, top five comedy specials, Andrew. Ooh. You want me to go first? Yes. Top five books for me, uh, in no particular order, um, From Niggas to Gods by Akil, um, Message to the Black Man by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, The Autobiography of Malcolm X, um, Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. And I'm going to go uh, The 48 Laws of Power. Those would be my my top five books ever. If I, had to, if I had to give somebody five books to read and say, you need to read these five books and these are the books that you need to like really internalize, it would be these, these five books. Delirious. Uh, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy's, obviously, Eddie Murphy's Delirious. Uh, Chris Rock, Bringing the Pain. Uh, Dave Chappelle, um, what's the first one? Not for Six what it's stones. worth. No, no, no. The, oh, uh, uh, Killing Him killin killin Softly. Killing Him Softly. Um, maybe Bigger and Blacker. Chris Rock, Bigger and Blacker. Great one. If I'm remembering correctly. Uh, Bringing the Pain is just so fucking iconic. Um... And then one more. Oh, Daniel Tosh. Um, Daniel Tosh has honestly two that could be in there. But really? uh, oh, Daniel Tosh is like one of the greatest. He might be the greatest joke writer ever. But Daniel Tosh, um, uh, True Stories I Made Up. And uh, I believe that's one. But there's two that could probably be in there. He's fucking. Yeah. Oh, did I say Patrice O'Neill? Oh, Elephant in the Room. Elephant in the Room. Oh, I thought that was the first one I said. Sorry. So, Delirious, uh, Bring in the Pain. Uh, what was the Chappelle one? The first one is Kill Him Softly. Softly, 
uh, Patrice's uh, elephant, elephant in, the in the room and Daniel Sha- uh, Daniel Tosh's uh, true stories. It's a good one. I think I think uh, when they see your the next one shows, they're gonna put you up there. Oh, respect, my man. I really do. Yeah, I really, 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 really do. Thank you, man. Cause yeah, I really, I cause there's just you know there's certain things in there I've never seen a man address. Fair enough. You know, Fair and enough. I think when you can do that in the in the humorous way that you did, yeah. Oh. And then the end, oh, you bastard. Thank you. Bro. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, scroll Thank up, you. Taylor. Let's do a couple more. Oh, I don't do that one. Uh, ooh, ooh, one handsome fella. Now, now this is fire. Player means- what player means more to a city but wasn't born there? Kobe to LA or Jordan to Chicago? Woo! I think Kobe means more to LA. Easy call. I think Jordan means more to like America or basketball, but I think Kobe means more to LA. Easy call. Yeah. I don't think Kobe was very likable to people outside of LA. Like, I don't know if people were like, he was kind of like a, like a, like a heel almost at times. But if you were from LA, he was like beloved. It was the greatest human being that's ever there. And it feels like Kobe was more connected to LA than Michael Jordan was to Chicago. Like Michael Jordan was connected to the Chicago Bulls. But not the city not the of city. Chicago. Like yeah. Kobe Bryant was there since he was a teenager. He grew up there. Like even when you in LA now, you see Kobe Bryant murals everywhere. I don't I don't yeah. I don't think I've seen that in Chicago. Why are you looking at me like that? Because it's Kobe. Why, no, 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 look at Taylor. Look, why Taylor I know. Look at me like that? why do you say that he went to school in Low Marion? Why are you saying that he was a teen and in... Well he was drafted as a please, teenager. Please don't, please don't. Don't do it. Don't. Yeah. By teenager, how old do you mean? Please don't. By teenager, but what? I'm just saying. <laughs> Remember R. Kelly? Low Marion <laughs> claims him too. What, what age are we talking about? Low Marion claims him too. Yo, Sorry. Taylor, I'm gonna tell nobody you something. Cares. Nobody, nobody cares. Nobody, nobody even knows Kobe who Low Marion is. Lower Marion, except for Upper y'all. Marion, sideways. It's not Marion. even close. <laughs> nobody gives yeah, a fuck. Like when I say it's not even close, it's not even close. Yeah. Like nobody even thinks of if Kobe Bryant and thinks Lower Marion. They think of Italy. Whenever I be like Lower Marion, they're like, oh, Kobe school. They always say that. The Philly Kobe thing. How you gonna tell me? Exactly. And say it again. I, I I wish it was, but the the Philly Kobe thing isn't real. Yes, yeah, I didn't say. I'm saying every time I say Lower Marion, they're like, "Oh, Kobe School." Y'all not in the conversation. Yeah, I say Lower Marion, but in to? terms of Philly, the fuck? <laughs> you do know Kobe got drafted when he was out of high school. I it's, do it's, know that. I'm telling you, when he was though, 18 years old. I'm saying you whenever I say, hey, I'm, on, 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 whenever imagine, I say <laughs> I'm from Lower Marion, you're not getting what I'm yeah, saying. If you grew, if you, if you, you're not getting what I'm saying. I'm saying if you moved but somewhere when you was 18 and you was you played there, she he played there for 20 years. Right, Charlamagne, we can't do this. We can't do this. One more, then we gotta go. All right, let's go. What else we got? Uh, scroll up to more Taylor. I hate y'all so much. <laughs> oh, uh, favorite show right now. I saw there's two Fallout and then House of Dragons. I don't, I'm not watching TV right now. Scroll one more time. I'm just, uh, there's nothing really on that I'm interested in. All right. Uh, oh, this is all right. We can end on this. Carrie Amazing. Would AI scroll up a little bit more? Would AI make a better president than a human? No. Talk to me. AI is is uh, if how AI works right now is very similar to how predictive text works. It's the same technology, so the answers that it gives you is just synthesizing all the times on the internet and in all their data sets that these questions have come up, mm-hmm. and what is most often placed there, and that's how it's calculating the answer. Just like when you're writing a sentence that's like uh, "I want to go party." it can kind of predict when you put PA, that's going to be party on it because it's dealt with all that data. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that it would necessarily be a good president because it might just be going off of what is existing on the internet, which as we know, the comments are not the reality. And you don't want your president to be making decisions based on the comments. You want them to be making decisions based on the reality. I mean, shit, most of them are already making fucking... That's just because of the comments yeah, any goddamn that's a good point way. Too. They yeah. got their comms teams and everybody else reacting to everything they see online. No, you're right. Listen, the debate is on June 27th. You hyped? Yes. Should I we... have not anticipated a battle like this since Kendrick Kendrick. Should we go? Should we go? I don't where know if I want to go. I don't know where it's at. But President Biden versus Donald Trump is going to be must-see see. 
TV. TV. And I'm going to tell you something, man. I saw something today where they said that they're going to uh, moderate the conversation by muting the person so they can't interrupt. And um, there's not going to be no notes, no help from AIDS wow. in between. So this shit is like a real live freestyle battle. <laughs> Good luck, President Joe Biden. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the, good luck. The muting of the mics helps Biden a lot more. Yeah. No, it doesn't. So it, because the interruptions from Trump will just throw him off. It don't matter. He gets thrown off it already. Don't, it, it, it don't matter. Here's the thing. Do you not want Trump to be interrupted? So you're thinking about it one way. Oh, you're sure. just going to let Trump go? <laughs> and you can't uh, jump in? And you 80 plus years old and trying to keep up with every single lie he's going to lay out? Uh, Are yeah. you serious? You got a point there. <laughs> Biden's not going to be able to keep up? Yeah, yeah that's interesting. It's, 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 it's going to be, listen, I don't know. Maybe it won't be bad. Maybe they got some new shit they've been working on, some super serum. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're going to shoot <laughs> it's, fucking. It's, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Yeah. And it's going to be so joke filled. What do I write about in the book, Chris? Donald Trump is dangerous because he's funny. Yeah, yeah. He's dangerous because he's funny. Yeah. He's going to give us one of the greatest stand-up specials we've ever seen <laughs> on June 27th. The names he's probably working on for Joe, uh, the shit he's going to come with about Hunter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> he smokes crack, doesn't he, Joe? He smokes crack. Does, does he smoke crack, Joe? Yeah. Yo, he might go. He might go there with the dead kids. He already yeah. went there. I know. He went there in the last debate. I know. I couldn't believe Biden didn't you smack can't him. Wait. <laughs> you can't I'm wait. I'm just saying that we're, oh, you're, we putting, watch it. you're putting Joe in a really bad situation, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're expecting Joe's going to come in there with all his decorum and presidential stature and years of being an elected official, all dignified. Yeah. No, man. No. If you going in there with that mentality, you already fucking lost. He got to call Trump the N-word. He might. <laughs> what would Trump's what? fans do? They'd be like... I don't know who I'm going for. <laughs> he, he might. What if, yes. He might. What if he yes. just dropped? Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, if Joe Biden called Trump the N-word, Trump's fans would be confused. Like, maybe a, I do like freedom of speech. I need that kind of president. Yeah, yeah. President willing to call out an yeah. N-word. What do you yeah. Yeah. I'm serious. Yo, it's going to be crazy. Can't wait. Nah. June 27th, 2024. Get your motherfucking popcorn, popcorn ready. <laughs> President Joe Biden versus Donald goddamn Trump. Chris, are you shaking your head because you know it's going to be bad? You guys can tell me what happened. I won't be able to watch oh, you it. Can, you're, you're, you're not going to be able to turn away. I'm not watching. I'm not. I can't do it. Damn. I'm watching. I'm watching. I can't wait. Uh, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're a couple. If you listen to this podcast, you think we're brilliant. You think we're smart.